on the troll. Hello and welcome to Mzans. We're back again. It is that time. I could hear, I couldn't hear myself. Mm? A lot happened today. I knew that there was something wrong on this mic. Yes. Hello, um, Tim Cool. Eh? Yes, um, Tim Cool. Hello. Hi, Tim Cool. Um, we greet you in good spirit. So today, I mean, we fought um, so that for all these months, we fought. <laughs> five months. Oh, was it even f- five months for this thing to be admitted? And now it's admitted. We've got two different versions of the events that took place on the 26th of October 2014. A waste of time. Not only that, we've got two people that are accused of being or having pulled the trigger. Now we have two people that are said to have pulled the trigger that ended Senzo's life. Well, two today we are going people. to try and also maybe visit the international law because I don't think South African law is going to assist us in any case. Um, it seems as if it's it's work. I'm, I'm just worried because we get a lot of people who, who protect it to work. Sure. Uh, Guys. I don't know where to start. Whether to start by indulging you on different matters that uh, relate to how the confession is supposed to be and what happened if the confessions are like this? Mm. Or should I let you go through this whole thing? I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. I think we should... I think we should... I think, I think we should start visiting the Indian law. Indian law? Mm. <laughs> okay. I'm all ears. What does the Indian law say? Just to to read the meaning of confession. Yes. Uh, by Judge Stephen, who defined confession in a summary of evidence law. Confession, confessing a crime means that a person accused of the crime admits or implies the interference with the crime he committed. An admission or confession under Section 24 of the Indian Evidence Act of 1872 refers to the admission of of any fact by the accused in such a way that um, the same can be used against him in a trial institution against him. Admissions are included in a, in in the receipt section because they are defined in the in in the commission category. Section 24 to date of the Indian Evidence Act. 1872 deals with confession according to Indian Panel Court. A confession is a statement made by the individual acknowledging and accepting his guilty, uh, his guilty of committing a crime, right? Mm-hmm. A confession is a statement made by a, con- a convicted person that serves to establish his commission of crime in a criminal case. Confession if made knowingly and voluntarily, may be recognized as the defined matter. A confession has the rule to go against the person who makes the confession may be oral or written according to Section 8 of the Indian Evidence Act. Confession made by uh, two or more accused jointly tried for the same offense can be taken into account against the co-accused. Section 80. Now, there is what we call the meaning of false confession. Okay. Now I was just marinating you. False, false, false confession occurs when a person admits guilty when they are not the perpetrator. Use, uh, using intimidation or coercion to obtain a statement may, may lead to false confession. They can also be the result of the defendant's mentality, a mental disability. 
admitting a lie may sound impossible, but it happens all the time and can cause many problems during the criminal trial. A false confession can occur when a person confesses to a, cr- a crime in order to alert the court the person who actually commit in, in order to alert the court to the person who actually committed the crime. For example, a person may confess to a crime to save a friend, family member, or relative who is being investigated. A false confession can be used to avoid a severe sentence. For example, when a person confessed to a minor offense and they, they did not commit. If the confession is found to be false, the judge will undoubtedly, undoubtedly expunge the same statement from the record and will no longer be accepted in court. Additionally, anyone who makes a false confession can be held liable for fines for lying in court. Now, obviously you're asking yourself why I'm, I'm, I'm reading this. Why are you reading this? Because this, these confessions... They are going to be expunged. You think so? Yeah. So we are going all through all of this for these confessions to be expunged, and then they be acqu- accused of making false confessions. Is that where this is going? Yes, and there are types of false confessions in India. There are many types of false confessions. Here are a few of them. The voluntary false confession, persuaded false confession, Complaining false confession. What I found interesting on that reading about mm. the false confession mm. is people confessing to actually avoid a long ascendance. Which uh, is a negotiation that happens, right? Yes. It happens with the police where they're like, we'll give you a lesser deal if you implicate one, two, three, four, five. Not necessarily implicate, but tell us who you were doing the crime with. You know, give but us more details, more information. But also confession made to, avi- to avoid that severe uh, sentence for your family member. In this case, it could be someone who's not your family member. So, the question is, was this case well thought to say that let's create this kind of confessions. Mm. Let us take them to court with the contradictions uh, so that the, the real people that should be held accountable mm. are not held accountable. And they eventually dodge the bullet. Yes. And all of this goes away. Yes. And then people are like, let it go, let it go. Yeah, it falls under that category of uh, just doing it for your family member so that you, you, they can avoid the serious sentence. Mm. Mm. I'm, I'm just asking this question. And then throw a name of a person that will be of interest. And then you throw that name anyhow. But they are still free out there living their lives as if nothing is happening. <laughs> Obviously, we are not saying that anyone did it. We are just saying, we are giving you scenarios. There and is what we call... Throw in that name. Sensationalize. You know people are going to react when you throw in that name. Then, yeah, we do react. Then they probably, f- this falls under persuaded false confession. Interrogation techniques uh, techniques can cause a person to, to question their memory and lead them to believe that they committed a crime that they did not. It does not yes. actually fall that. If you follow um, Sibanda's cross-examination yes. uh, of the accused, it has the same ingredients. It has the same ingredients. Of interrogation. But then there is what we call a voluntarily false confession. Mm-hmm. The confession is made on the basis of the confession of the mind and the conscious, conscious of the confessor or on the basis of external pressure or coercion. We are coerced, uh, exerted, and a confessor, but not 
on any official investigator. Sometimes a, a voluntary false confession is motivated by the psychological problems. For example, a person may make a statement due to a strong need for punishment. I doubt they fall under that. They try to make them seem like they do by saying that uh, they look relieved. But like they this want one, to get stuff off their chest. This is where they fall, the complaint confession. If authorities use co coercion, threats, coercion, and the suspect tries to evade the investigation, he may or may not be plead, plead guilty. This is where it falls. But what is important is that this evidence is not helping us with anything, if you ask me. There are two theories and a sober ad advocate who works for NPA accept this. They are preview to the information before it goes to, to court, before they even say, we want to pursue this line. Yeah. You know that they are contradicting statements. We are still going to go to the nitty gritties of what could have happened. Mm. In, in my opinion. Mm. And this is obviously still my opinion. And we're just comparing the situations. What happens to other countries? It's basically not different from what should happen here. These evidence, as they are provisionally accepted, they are not helping the court in any case. It's a mess. It's, it's, a, mess. A, it's a mess. No matter how much the judge tries to make it seem like these people made it um, voluntarily, it's saying that, uh, do you know these people, do you know so-and-so and so-and-so, so, making the statement valid, mm. the judge doing that, I don't think you want to put your name as a judge to such case and say you actually find these people guilty. What about your reputation? It just doesn't make sense. People like us who are not law students can see through this. How about people who who are law students? Mm. Mm. I couldn't see what that. are you saying to them, to their uh, 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 profession? That you can bend and twist. Because this is really an insult. It is. If if anything, I would be offended if someone uh, came with such a case and said uh, this case is actually a good case that we should pursue and we pursue and people should be found guilty on the basis of someone knowing where they stay. <laughs> you will follow this thing if you've been following this case properly. You remember Ntuli talking about the Butelis? Yes, when he appeared at the Boxback Magistrate Court. I think it was their first court appearance. He said, this man came. This this man came. Mm. He said he wanted to charge Butelis. Mm. Manju Butelis is showing up. Manje, confession at the time, it was not clear, maybe to that judge. Mm as to why this man would say this without even looking at the, these confessions. Mm. Do you understand? Yes. This man came, he said he wanted to charge Utelis. And then now, the confession of accused um, number one, it talks about Butelis. Three people. The Butelis brothers. Mm. The Butelis people, if it's brothers, I don't even know his brother or father or but it talks about the Butelezi people. Mm. There is no Carlos there. No. But there is Marcos. Don't there's be confused. Because Carlos, they confused him with accused number three. They always say that's, that's his name. I don't know whether it's his name no, or they're talking about a different person. That's now. a totally different person. No, they're talking about a different person. Who and eventually that passed that away. That person is the one who pulled the trigger. And, and then that person is that no person more. That person is no more. So it seems like a lot is going on here. Two groups entered that house. Now, that's a new theory. Two groups entered that the, that house with the common denomin denominator being Muzi. Because mm. Muzi is called by uh, 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 the, the so-called confession of dance. Mm. And then Muzi calls himself on, on the other one. 
this the, the other so-called confession that he made. So these people were there on different days though. Yes. That must be said because it's different days. These ones of Muzi, they came on Saturday. Yes. They finished the job. When they thought the job was finished, Muzi slept, wake up the following day, he had to go and do the same job mm. on Sunday now. Mm. Mm. Same thing. Atlangan. So you, you tell me that it's not. You've got guards to sit here and tell us that I call now uh, this confession. And I can freely tell you, in my own opinion, even Cronier's one is gonna be different from the first one. Maybe there might be common things, but I can tell you gonna be a bit different from the first one. I can think more of narrated different. maybe because the first one was too short. Yes. So this one is gonna be a bit longer and talk about chickens and chickens. the grandmother the missing grandmother the chicken. Struck me on the head as she was trying to strike the chicken. So exactly what are we what are we this is a movie. It's a horrible nightmare. It's a movie. And I looked at the facial expressions of Ubongani Tanzi over there. I'm like, oh, he can't believe this issue is happening to him. The only thing... He didn't disbelief. According to this Indian uh, uh, article, mm. it only proves that these people were coerced. It proves that they were coerced. If there are two statements that are contradicting each other, Mm. It proves cohesion. Asian. They were coerced to make this statement. Mm. For those who probably wanted the proof, then we can call this a proof according to that law. Mm. For the question, what are we doing with our funds? What What is happening with our funds? The taxpayers, man. It's a waste of time. It's a circus. It's unprecedented, unprecedented uh, situation that is happening in front of people that should be regarded as people who are taking everything, doing everything for the rightness of society. But what we are seeing there is a circus. So if they could have successfully thrown in Kelly there, Case 375 would be a thing of a past. Yes, it would be. Because if he was there, if he was arrested, then he was not going to be included in Case 375. It's going to be trialed. You can't be trialed twice for the same case. No, you can't. So we are here. It's not even mixed. It's really sad, though, um, that this thing is being dragged like And this. for those who didn't follow, you'll hear as we go through this. And we'll make sure that we don't disturb so that you hear properly yourself. We're not even gonna, I'm not even going to put my opinion up until you finish the first one. And then we'll look okay. at that and we'll go to the second one. Okay. Okay. Continue, Amy. Well, Kenneth Rapadu was said to read the confession, but before he could do that, Baloy uh, kind of ambushed the defense to say that the injection of the evidence of this witness from the trial within a trial needed to be injected in the main trial. And he kept saying that they had this conversation. And Mnisi was the only one who was not, or claims she was not a part of that conversation. They did not agree. Okay, he said he didn't say they were not part of the conversation. He just said we didn't agree while Abaloy uh, was insisting that they agreed. He said that the evidence in that trial within a trial is a watertight compartment. He quoted State versus Seteb in 1992. The judge asked Mgomezulu for comment, and Mgomezulu said that he thought that the witness will proceed on where he ended from the evidence that has been redacted. So because the evidence tendered during the trial within a trial by the witness should continue by giving evidence or reading the statements that are attached on a pro forma that were redacted during the trial within a trial. The judge said Baloy is not saying that. He went on to ask uh, Ramsepeli and uh, Kenel Rapadu was 
Okay, Mr. Anonymous. Mm. What did you want to say? Where? What did you want to say? About I'm done with the section of um, the whole argument that was happening earlier about the repetition. It seems like they were trying to say that they shouldn't cross-examine the people that were witnesses in the trial within a trial again. And there was a confusion between the judge and Advocate Nis. I mean... You know what? What I probably wanted to say is that I don't understand why they were even blocking these statements. But it's a good thing because it creates that uh, a, a theory that these people were coerced. I mean, I after so. reading the the statements, I mean, they heard them, right? Mm. So it couldn't have been that they didn't read them. They went through them and they saw this is contradicting. Uh, it does not make sense. Okay, Ramasipili said that he had not agreed, but his position is that since the trial within a trial was insulated and now they are no longer dealing with admissibility, his take is that evidence now forms part of the ruling evidence. And he was continuing with the annex jar. He said we are now going to the parts that were he withheld for the purposes of a trial within a trial. Nisi said that his understanding as well, and if you get uh, the evidence he gave in the trial within a trial, you can still go back to the trial within a trial. So Ngumalo said that the court has made a ruling, so it is for the witness to continue from where he ended. Mshololo said that uh, in the proforma itself, there were other paragraphs which were blocked and now they have to be revealed and read to the record. That is the procedure that they had to follow from now on. And Baloi said that he had some sort of agreement that the evidence that was given by the witnesses in the trial within a trial be injected into the main trial so that this witness does not have to repeat what he testified. He said that the trial within a trial is watertight and insulated and that they're starting on a clean slate. It's crucial that the authorities are saying that there has to be that agreement. So the judge asked him to read those authorities from State versus Etebe. The judge said that it includes the performa evidence, State versus Slengetra, 1996. It says that it is nonsensical to repeat evidence that was introduced in the trial within a trial. And the judge said that he's surprised that Mr. Mnisi said that there are issues that he wanted to take up with Kennel regarding his evidence in the performer. Um, Nisi said that if there are aspects that this witness testified about in the trial within a trial on the performer, then he would like to take them up on that, you know, mm. because information was redacted. To me, it still doesn't make sense why the judge made it such a big hoo-ha. Information was redacted. It was even blurted out or covered. Now they are introducing it into the main trial that was not discussed or not gotten into in the trial within a trial in the very same statement, confession, and pro forma. So now Nis is saying we didn't have an opportunity to cross-examine regarding that redacted information. Which was true. There's nothing to argue about there. So why was it such a big hoo-ha from the judge, like he was trying to block or something? No, it was just true. <sighs> it was redacted, meaning that it was not all read in. So they couldn't question on what was not read on record. Now you want to bring it on record in, without it being questioned. What? And then you want to say at the end, did they question this, did they question that? Well, the judge is said, the hell, you know, no to <laughs> Nisi. That no was very strong, and uh, he doesn't know the procedure. And he even went as far as to ask um, Advocate Nisi to quote the authority to support why he wanted to cross-examine on information that was redacted. <laughs> he said, quote me the authority. <laughs> but he like, quoted the authority in, instead. And he said that he will withdraw, and the judge said that he will even give him days if he wanted to find that authority. Well, Palo is the one who gave that authority, and guess where he quoted from? Mm. Kretcher case. Okay. And this Kretcher case that we are familiar kind of with, you know, that long, long case that involved the Kretcher. Mm. Mm, that also had Brigadier Kininda as an investigating officer. Yes. 
So Balloy quoted that case and it said that the court should adopt a flexible approach. It will be up to the court whether it allows such cross-examination. The judge really had a condescending tone, in my opinion, once he heard that it was from Judge Lamont. Okay, I don't know what beef uh, Mukhwateng has with Lamont, but there is something there. He asked Balo if he had any other judgments besides allegedly. that one from Lamont, allegedly. But uh, I, I could feel the tension in my opinion. I felt like the, he's not the welcoming of the judgments from Judge Lamont for some weird reason. And uh, he even said, give me another case besides that one from Lamont. So now he picks and chooses the kind of judgments he would like to work with, I guess. So he even wanted one from Zimbabwe or Namibia. State versus Bakane and others, it went to the Supreme Court of Appeal. The evidence led by the state in the trial within a trial will form part of the main trial and circumvent a situation where the witness would have to lead the same evidence and be subjected to cross-examination again. The judge said that that's the law that he knows. He has never heard of what Mr. Mnisi was saying. So he read this Schultz again, saying that it's not necessary for the evidence that was led in the trial within a trial to be led again in the main trial. By the way, the person who was reading all of these cases is what? It was Mr. Baloi. And the judge is like, yes, I agree. That's how I know it. I agree. That's how I know it. But I quoted another case from 1952 that said the same thing. The judge said that in any proceedings, once a witness has been cross-examined, you can't cross-examine them again unless there's a dispensation from the court. Uh, but I also read the writings of Dudoit and others on the criminal procedure saying the same thing. He said for the recalled witnesses is that they continue where they left off and in the main trial. So according to the judge, the omitted parts that were retracted, he's also not permitted to read them in the main trial. So this is a ruling that he made. Mm. That these redacted parts that were redacted in the trial within a trial must not be read in the main trial. I guess that's where the misunderstanding was with Minisi because Minisi was saying that should these redacted parts be revealed then we need to cross-examine on them eventually the redacted part they were read on record right i think so they yes, eventually they were. were read on record mm. so police officer Lu lieutenant colonel solomon rapadu was called to the stand. He took the confession of accused number two, Bongani Tanzi, on the 19th of June 2020 at Morocco Police Station. Legal teams had opposing views on where Conor Rapadu's evidence should start from. Now, Baloy wanted to take his chances and have Kenna Rapadu read the pro forma, the redacted part of the judge's permission. He had actually allowed it until Nisi stood to say that his colleague is taking chances after the judge has just ruled for the omission parts to be omitted. The judge said what he never read cannot be read into the record. So Balu said that they were waiting for the admissibility to be ruled. The reason they withheld it was because they were waiting for the admissibility to be determined. So he's saying that they left out some of those parts or they scratched them out or they hid them from the rest of the council and the rest of the court because no, they, they were did waiting. not hide them from the rest of the council. They redacted them. They redacted. They, they agreed. Them out. So that means they, the, 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 the other council, they saw and then they agreed to redact it. Okay. So he's saying that uh, the, he was waiting for the admissibility, for the ruling of the admissibility to be made. So now that it's made, he would like for them to go into the record. So the judge asked if they agreed, and Shololo said that they had agreed. But Loi said that it's an agreement that they made in the trial, within a trial after the ruling uh, of certain portions that they were left out would be included. So when a witness has been cross-examined on an aspect, he cannot be cross-examined again on it. So, yeah, the state said that he had already testified what he said. Can I be feel that whole exercise is a waste of time, uh, if you ask me, I mm -hmm. mean, because eventually we went back where we started, mm -hmm. in a sense, it, be, it 
they they read everything on record. Mm, they did read everything on record and we got the juicy, juicy, juicy parts. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, so now I will need to move to the confession of Rapadu straight away because I know you guys are here for it. Um, but we asked him after he was sworn in, he said, I want to refer you to the part which was redacted or placed on record. Rapadu said, uh, uh, he asked, uh, is it accused number two, Bongani Tanzi, if he's prepared to make a statement? The accused response was that uh, I was involved in the crime. And Rapadu continued to read the pro forma. And it says, and I quote, Since the deponent is in his sound and sober senses, he had not been unduly influenced and understands his rights as prescribed by the Section 35 of the Final Constitution and freely and voluntarily wishes to make a statement. He's informed that he or she may now proceed. And Rapadu, given the background of taking down what is stated in the next chair and reading from the next chair, he said, I made sure that the accused person understands the first thing. I informed him of his rights. I made sure that he's sober mind and the statement was made voluntary without any undue circumstances. Then I started sitting down with him and went into the statement itself. Rapadu now read the statement she took from Tanzi and it said, I, Bongani Sandison Tanzi, 30 years of age, from 3125 Freedom Park, Rustenburg, state the following in Zulu and translated into English that... Remember how Rapadu kind of struggled in the trial within a trial to translate. Mm. Um, but he is claiming that he he translated for accused number two. He still maintains it even now. Mm. Baloy asked Rapadu where the address comes from and the judge said no. <laughs> the procedure is that this witness that must No, read. don't be fooled by that no because the judge does that for him at the end. Mm, with those questions that he was mm. asking again. The judge does that for you. I got excited a bit. I was like, okay, maybe we're going somewhere. But I was I was rebelled yet again. <laughs> the procedure is that this witness must read what he wrote down. He doesn't have to be cross-examined. So during mid-October, the statement said, 2014, I received a call from a friend, Mtogo Ziseni, who was with Mapisa. Togo Ziseni, who was with Mapisa. One person, basically. I know that they tried to change it. There's no, uh, in my own opinion, there's no such a person called Togo Ziseni alone. There's Togo Ziseni Mapisa. Mapisa, accused number four. That was mistake number one. That for me, without a doubt, it proves, and this is according to me, that these people did not write these statements. Mm. Ntogo Zisaini with Mapisa, while Mapisa himself is Ntogo Zisaini Mapisa. I was like, Whoa. Someone who did not understand these people. Ntogo Zisaini with Someone like Mapisa. Zungu, if you ask me. Exactly reminds me of Zungu's initial statement. Guys, do you still remember how much misunderstanding with the names was happening with Zingu, Zungu when he first came to testify to such an extent that they even had to correct the statement to put the proper names? Remember that whole situation, the confusion about who was who? If Danzi wrote this statement and if Danzi know these people, mm. Why would you say him towards the same and my pizza? Why? And then towards the same was on the call and my pizza. In the background. Or in the back. Like no, that. Carlos was in the background. Oh, Carlos. I could hear the voice. So he said he informed me about an urgent work that needed to be done and he needs my assistance. Carlos was nearby as I could hear his voice in the background. So I promised to assist and I decided to leave for Jobek to Fosloras Men's Hostel and met with Muzis Bias Fiso Zungu, also new, known as Ngani. Now, pause there. There is Fiso Gushe. Not Zungu. 
Sfiso zungu. No nesin kani. If... I, <laughs> now, look at this. Look at this. Zungu... Uh, alleged, uh, it is alleged that Nduli uh, uh, is related to Zungus, I think. Yes. It is alleged. Yes. Right? Yes. If this is someone who knows Nduli, why would he he be mistaken like that? Calling Nduli ka mother's surname or something. I mean, and we the never... the name as well, Sifiso. We never make that mistake. It's and the Fiso name is Sifiso. Fiso Kuse Nduli, right? Yes. So Sifiso Zungu. And Fiso Kuse can never be Sifiso. No. If you are Zulu, you will not make such a mistake, I believe. Yo, I can. So who initially gave the inside information? Right. He says that uh, he went to this men's hostel, met with Sibia Sfiso Zungu, also known as Ngandi, who initially gave them inside information. So they, in this statement, uh, Nduli is placed as the person who organized. Yes, Zungu, who's called Fiso Nduli. Zungu, who's called Ngani. Which is Fiso Ngandi, by the way. We are giving you that information because we've had. So later, Carlos Butelezi and Mapisa joined the gathering at the hostel. I was briefed the person to be eliminated or killed was Senzo Meiwa, and it was initiated by Kelly Kumalo, who was going to make a payment for the whole job. Now, I need to pause a bit here because, mind you, for everyone who watched the documentary, we all saw how Kelly Kumalo's friend testified to the fact that even Kelly was broke at the time. He, he borrowed money from him, which was 1,500 rands at the time. That's, that's, the, that's, the, that's the scenario that he was painting. Mm. Right, and I happen to believe it in my opinion because at the time, as I was reading through the tabloids, I had my own speculation of why Kelly was holding on to Senzo at the time, and I my speculation was like tough times because she had moved back to her mother's house in Fort mm. the, mm. the the financial situation was still. You know, Do not be fooled by I I am bigger than Senzo. Mm -mm. At the time, no. It was after the Jube Jube incident and she was still making her, her climb again to Superstardom. So things were not, were not as they are today. So for those who remember or who were following the tabloids like I was. So I happen to... Believe the friend when he was saying that I actually borrowed her money. So that's my opinion. That's my opinion. Strictly my opinion. So Rapadu continued on and done this statement and he said that uh, we were positioned accordingly. Ngani, Ngani would be the driver, Muzisbia would be the guard, and myself, Bongani Ntanzi, and Carlos would get inside Kelly's house. Mapisa would be outside as a backup and surveillance was conducted. Sunday at about 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock at night, we then proceeded to the address. I went in with Carlos and others took their positions as, as discussed during the planning. When we entered the house, Carlos shouted in Zulu, Pansi, Imali, na my cell phone. What was uh, Mas Popola saying? Footex, cell phones and money. Cell phones and money. Cell phones and money. That's that's what I remember. But now it's like panty. Imali na my cell phone. Panty meaning go down. Cell phones and money. Go down. Cell phones and money. We are here now. Yeah. Remember how the state had worked over time to get Mtogo Zisi to kind of retract that Zulu Sutu situation? Mm. D do you guys remember that? Yes. To have him take it back somehow. If you ask me, this case was built initially for a different, maybe, human being 
who was going to be a mixed breed of Sutu and Zulu. Hmm. Because Kiba Sutu hostel, they might yes. be even having host, uh, Sutus there, I'm just yes. thinking. So perhaps that's what initially this case was all about. And you can see this case growing, man. You can see it evolving, moving from one place to another, from one theor to another theor. You can almost, almost see it. Well, he further read on to say, I started collecting cell phones and cash that was in the container. I don't know what the container I bang lasa. Bang lasa ngoba mina nkumbula kutiwa bekutelo ama sopu. They were asking for the soup. Who remembers the soup? The, the buying of the soup at the tech shop and Kelly went into the car and took coins from the X6. Yes. Why didn't they take from the container that when the intruders came in and they, and they saw it? It means it was not far. Right? It means the container was not far. So why not take from the container? You go all the way into the car. You look for and scrapple for coins. Yeah, but to go and buy soup. Hi, bang lashi guys. I will never forget the soup. I will never forget the story about the soup. Hmm? I will never forget it, guys. So this way they lost me. But we continue reading the confession. It continues to say, while I was busy, Senzo jumped to Carlos and the struggle ensued where one shot went off and the second shot hit Senzo as the firearm was pointed at his chest. Hmm. I'm trying to envision this. So this guy is, is, is simple. This guy is there by the table, busy with money there and phones. But mm. he's able to also see where the gun is pointing mm. in Senzo's, at Senzo's body, mm. which part is, it is in pointing the in a struggle, in a, in a situation as they put the scene as a moving scene. It was moving, right? Mm. He's able to see that. He's able to see that. He has you know, eyes at the back of his head. The, the other sad part that all. might you might overlook a guy who went in there mm. wouldn't have missed the issue of Longwe getting out, wouldn't have missed the issue of Bozandi harassing them. Mm. You wouldn't have missed that. With, with the crutches. Yes. You'll remember the hitting with the crutches. You wouldn't have missed that. Mm. He said, I ran out with the money and the cell phone. So he left with one cell phone after going there looking for cell phones. He left with one cell phone, leaving Carlos behind mm. while Mapisa ran into the house. Mm. So Mapisa, Mapisa now went into in. the house that Miss mm, Popola did not see, mm. that Mtogozisi um, did not see, mm. that uh, Kelly's mom, well, she hasn't come to testify yet, but those who have come to testify, even Tumela, Tumela said I was locked in the bedroom, so we'll leave him out for now. But Miss Popola, who was popoling, did not see my pizza running into the house. Mm -mm. He said, I then proceeded directly to the silver polo that was parked. I waited in the car with Ngani. With a short period of time, I was joined by Carlos, Muzis Bia, and my pizza. We then left for Fosloras, Fosloras Hostel. My apologies. Fosloras Hostel. Carlos took the cash and the cell phone from me at the hostel. I received an amount of 15,000 rands cash. I then left with Ngani to Johannesburg where I slept over. The following day, Ngani took me to Davidton where I stayed for some days, some days. Mm. Ngani later returned and took out an amount of 30,000 rand. So in Davidon, that thing of some days, some days, in mm. Davidon, mm. that means this man, he went to Davidon, right? Yes. No, he we initially went to Jobek. Yes. Which is not specified which Jobek. Where in Jobek. And then he went to Davidon. Mm. And in Davidon, he spent some days, some days. Some days, some days. Is Joe Beck not I wanted him to interpret that that and part. I wanted him to interpret it from that from from above that part to that part. 
I wanted to hear what he could have said to to the accused when he was reading it back. Some days, some days. Nkani later returned and took out an amount of 30,000 rands and gave me. Now, that 30,000 rand plus 15, that is 45. That's 45,000. Mm. So if they're saying that the heat was 100,000 and in Tanzi alone got 45,000, how much, how much did, did the others other get? And, and the Nyanga yeah. somewhere and and the the Nyanga got 5,000. 5, plus 50 rand. Ah, but the Nyanga must got 5,000 from the other group. They from the other group, not <sighs> this one. <sighs> so in Tanzi got 45K and in Tuli got how much? And my piece I got how much? And Muzi got how much? And there's a and silver polo. And there's a silver polo. There's a silver polo that in you still need confession. to take into consideration. That on the other confession is white. The other confession is totally different. Totally different. So he further directed me to the taxis to my residence as there was a dissatisfaction about the money. It led to a meeting to be held at the homelands at Emaslatini. Emaslatini. Where is Emaslatini now? There is no such thing as Emaslatini. You call down Emaslati when I'm a ning Emaslati everywhere. Emaslatini. Guys, wouldn't Tanzi call? Make that mistake and not correct it. Emaslatini. Make that mistake and not correct. I know my Zwana people. And that is that is it. that is written in Zuru, right? My Zwana people would call it the Maslatini. I don't know <laughs> if Tanzi would call it the Maslatini. <laughs> he would have corrected it. Let alone the mistake could have been made when we were writing, but he would have corrected it and he corrected everything. Akiri said he read everything to him and he gave it to him to read so that he can check. And then he read it to him again. This is where I think, honestly speaking, I would say this. Uh, Ramusipil, here you, I think you failed. Uh, you lost uh, me. You, fo- you failed, Ndanzi, here. I, I, would ask, I would submit. Nama. Um, you, you you had a lot. You had a lot. To you had a lot to do here to play around with. You chose to, yeah, to 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 ignore some of the things. I don't know if they didn't click. Maybe they mind. didn't click with the theory. The theory of your of your client must be in your in your system. You must know it very well so that you pick up these things. Emma Latini. The question would have been. After you read the statement back, you say you gave it and dance. Mm. Is there any place that you know of yourself that is called Emma Satin? Mm. Because my client is from Emma Sabatin. Emma Sabatin. If this was an error, do you think this was an error? If this was an error, why do you think that did not correct this mistake? Because you even gave him the statement to read after you read it back to him. Hmm. Now, the confession further says that uh, in Emma Sabatini, that meeting, it escalated to such an extent that Muzisibia had leaked information about the incident of the murder of Sinzo Meiwa, Njabulo and Lulama. Now I'm like, who are these two people, Njabulo and no, no Lulama? Hmm had an argument about Muzis Bia, whereby a meeting was convened by the family headed by Muzis' father. He told them to keep quiet about the incident of the killing of Senzo Meiwa. The family agreed about the conspiracy to keep quiet about the incident. The matter was never reported to the police. I then left for Carltonville, later to Rustenbeck. Sounds Jan- like, it sounds like... Uh Zungu. I think this statement of Ndanze, it smells and feels, there's a feel of Zungu, the mistakes that are made there. It had a feel of someone who last saw KZN after a while. A long, long time, time ago. ago. Maybe you were born there, but it's been a while since you've been there. Oh, you don't know it that well. Mm. Even though you visit frequently, but you don't know. Don't it know well. it very well. And I'm like, 
leaving, he left to Carltonville. He came back, Carltonville, and then later he went to Rustinbeck. How? How did that happen? Because the version of the accused is that he spent some, some quite some time unemployed, actually, before he got the job at Rustenburg. According to his testimony, as well as Butelezi, who testified to the friend that he had from Rustenburg. He spent some time moving from Carltonville at DC Banya Slow Water Mine. There was a period where he was unemployed before he got the job at Rustenbeck. Before the incident. So how how does that happen? That he moves from Carltonville and then to Rustenbeck like that after the incident. He said he started working at Rustenbeck years later. Remember that. Mm. So Baloy asked Rapadu to explain the thumbprint and the signature. And Rapadu said that there was his signature as well as the signature of the accused and their thumbprint. He also read the statement. The answer was yes. The statement was read back to him. And because he has an elementary education, he can read and understand the English. He said later I gave him the statement and he read it through and he, I said to him he must sign it he agreed to the contents thereof Rapadu continued with the statement and he said has the statement been read to you with an interpreter which was myself he's saying he himself Rapadu was the interpreter okay as well as the author not really the author the the writer who was writing what the accused was saying, as well as an interpreter at the same time. Mind you, we're talking about someone who Zulu is not that... Ayoba. He said, I was standing in as an interpreter. The following question are now stated to the deponent. He said, are you satisfied that which has been stated has been noted down correctly? The response was yes from Danzi. Do you have any complaints as to the manner in which I took down the statements? And the answer was no. Are you satisfied with the interpreter himself? He was the interpreter. And Ntanzi said yes, according to Rapadu, that he was satisfied with him as an interpreter. So, yes. You know, silly questions such as, are you testifying here as an interpreter or as a peace officer? Hmm. Hmm, that's another interesting question. Because you wrote here there was an interpreter. And you are the interpreter. So the place where the statement was taken, it says Morocco in on the 19th of June 2020 at 11.47. I don't know whether it's a.m. or p.m., but it's 11.47. It's a.m. It's a.m. Yes. So the kennel was not done reading and Baloy took him to another exhibit. And this is where the clothing was discussed. Rapadu said, clothing, clean blue jeans, and impala platinum lumber. Okay. There's a reason why he's saying clean. Because why why have you got to put in clean there? Like, why? Clean. How do they say they have to observe? Appearance, calm and responsive. Attitude, good and at ease. But uh, in this instance, I feel like all of this was no, I'm traversed cool. in the trial within a trial. We are not going to leave you behind. And these ones, they were done in the morning. Remember from the testimonies that they deviated from the direction of going to um, where of going to 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 Fosloras, right? Yes. There was and then they deviated. They were told court. to deviate. I think the the one we are confusing them with is the is that one of, of accused Moses. number one. Accused number one. They were done midnight. Mm, at night, on at the night. same day he was arrested. And uh, spontaneous, not there. There was no response. He said he didn't write anything under spontaneous. Spontaneous, is, does it mean that you just spoke without, or you're just speaking? Mm, having a conversation. And you are flowing, in a sense. Oh. Mm. So, by the way, then question. said, 
It was put to the witness that the accused had not had a bath from the 16th of June 2020. What is your comment? And Rapadu said, no, I will disagree with that. Okay. Rapadu said the accused was brought to him. He was so clean and he was shining. He didn't want to just write an exceptional, but he looked like he was working from somewhere. He was clean. Manje, clean. Uh, Ongel. I, I still cannot fathom properly. How can the whole NPA sit down, look at this, and find it as really watertight case? You know, mistakes can be done. Yeah. But there are a lot of things that you needed to go through first before you make such a mistake. DNA, bullet, statements that were readily available to you for years. Did you even think of placing these people at the scene? Baloi to me... It doesn't look like a seasoned lawyer. I mean, from what I'm reading here and what you, 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 you the statements I call, not unless the angle is different. Which is the one you could have brought up earlier to say yeah. that eventually they basically to mess to everything up. Out. Yes. I happen to believe that theory that you said at the beginning, it's, it's making sense looking at this hogwash. I mean, it's honestly. Making sense. Did you want to convict on this one? No. It doesn't seem like you wanted to convict. It seems like you. You just just mess this thing up. This yeah, is it's my like a job opinion of 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 messing it up. It's messed up already. There's no turning back. It's 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 messed up. And then you get. Uh, that man of Harinel. <laughs> Who believes this is the like this is the case? Mm-hmm. These confessions. We 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 did predict where is he? As in I cannot defend Harinel. He'll have to explain himself at the later stage. What were you thinking? I, I don't understand. What did they tell you really this that convinced prosecutor. you? Prosecutor, Mr. Hirinel was a prosecutor at the high court. Do you understand what I'm saying? He 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 says, sure. I ask Pumen go Hirinel, who's just Kazela once everything is done. One day he will need to explain himself. Yeah, maybe he will have some kind of a documentary or something. Just explain to us. How did you analyze this? We evidence and felt that yeah. Mm. But they said that it was also disputed that accused number two was given food. And by the way, on the clothing element, I don't understand how he said he was shining and so clean. The time that he went to make a confession with him in particular, it had been how many days since he was arrested? On the 16th, the 17th, the 18th, on the 19th. So this is approximately three days later. And you are saying that this man in the same outfit that he got arrested in on the 16th, three days later, he's shining. He's Wash clean. and wear. He's clean and he's shining. Mm. And this guy was wearing a wash and wear type of a situation. Mm, mm, mm. In winter, in a cold cell. Mm. Okay. Then Baloy said it was also disputed that accused number two was given food. What is your comment? Now they added food. He's saying that, yes, he agrees that he was given food during the process. Very creative, these people. They <laughs> I, I felt there when when um, Ramsey people was asking. Mm. He left me hanging there. Mm. He left me hanging. The guy answers that he felt no need to actually divulge such information. But you did ask this guy, you did narrate the story of the accused to this very same guy, 
because every time when you after cross examination you 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 narrate the story of the accused what the accused will come and say mm. but you said you felt no need even after i narrated to you that the guy says he did not eat today only today you come with a theory that oh uh, actually got four slices i didn't even know that in pre, in 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 in, in holding cells you get four slices not four two slices now maybe things have changed maybe things have changed now they give four slices these people are changing the theories like there's a wish to it's like okay there's a loophole there just just fill it in fill it in next time you come and testify fill it in fill in the last loophole you left the last time you testify <laughs> please like the video yeah. share I, the video like the video sometimes i feel like i'm the crazy one it's so bad it's terrible jo ah ah this is not no. even a movie this is a cartoon movie this is like taka taka no this is a mess it's a mess Well he said that uh, early in the beginning maybe at around eight o'clock in the morning is when uh, accused number two had a meal it was a meal for prisoners they knocked and then I went and fetched the food for him then I gave him I let him go through the food then when it was finished it was then processed we continued with the statement asked what the meal he was uh, given was and he said it was buttered brown bread and tea four slices so the judge asked me to see what uh, things he said that he wanted to take up again okay so again i don't know whether he was doing it intentionally or what but it seems like there was a misunderstanding between him and Nisi for some weird reason in my opinion Nisi said that should anything come up that was in the trial within a trial the new evidence being introduced he should be allowed to ask then the judge made a ruling that said no so the judge said Mkomezulu should cross examine and Nisi was really on Rata's mind because it was not Nisi's turn to cross examine he skipped Ramasipeli skipped Ramos Gomezulu and went straight to Mnisi. So maybe there was something that he needed to address with Mnisi that perhaps he left hanging. Mm. Because I was like why why are you skipping Ramasipeli now? The, the the confession Gomezulu is actually the one who reminded him that the confession that was just read here right now is pertaining to Ramasipeli who represents accused number two. He's the one who should be doing the cross examination right now. What did he call Ram today? Ramisipilili, Ramsapilili, Ramusipidi. You know, it, it, it changes all the time. Okay. So Ramusipili began his cross examination and he addressed a very important issue. Okay. He said I would have thought that by now my lord you would have known my surname very well. It's an easy to pronounce a surname. <laughs> I <laughs> He had to I say. I felt it. proud. I felt proud. I felt like finally. Okay, you cannot be you cannot be messing somebody's surname and you are seeing them almost every day of the week. You are seeing them and you keep messing up their name and when i look at all the legal counsel ramosipili's surname is the one that's butchered the most mm gomezulu's surname is not butchered nisi's name is not even mshololo's name is not butchered ngumalo's name is not butchered it has been butchered of mshoshos omsholos omsholos <laughs> But it is, it is better. You guy it gets in your skin under your skin. <laughs> On peppers. Peppers like he irritates the hell out of you. Yes. He enjoys that. He enjoys poking at. And he calls it a joke. <laughs> <laughs> the judge said that it was more difficult than Mukhwatleng. Not really, hey. Mukhwatleng is actually difficult than Ramosebil in my opinion. But uh, he feels that his surname is so easy. It's like cheese on the tongue. 
Ramusipile's word is hard. And the ironic part about this is that both of them are Tswana speaking. Mkhwateng is Tswana. Ramusipile is Tswana. So I don't understand why the judge is doing all of this drama. <laughs> well, Ramusipile on accused number two. Uh, being fed while he was brought to Rapadu, he said that with his understanding of police procedures, in order for the accused to be fed, he must first be entered in the current books of that police station so that they know that he's there. Rapadu said that it was known that he was with him. All the relevant entries were supposed to be made. Did you whom? make them? Because you are the one this man came to see. Did you fill in the occurrence book? Did you? Did he? We don't know. Ramosipili told him that they were finished with the current books where the accused was held at various police stations, but they do not have the Morocco OB entry where it shows that accused number two was brought to him on the 19th of June 2020 to show that he received him and he obtained a certain statement from him and later released him and handed him back to Jonathan who brought him. Ghana, what is uh, Danzi's... Uh, version is that he was taken he was taken where on the 19th he was taken somewhere though not at Muroka right mm. that's in Tanzi's version that he was taken somewhere it was a Muroka police station and I remember him painting that scenario of them driving with him stopping at Baraguanath picking Kenna Rapadu. Extensively, he was asked as to what was uh, Kenna Rapadu having and holding, and he said he was having a bunch of papers mm. that looked like forms or whatever, but he had a lot of papers with him. And next thing you know, they take him somewhere. Where did they take They took him somewhere, the dumping area. Yeah, the dumping area. So now... Where is the OB entry from Moroka Police Station where you say this happened at Moroka Police Station in an office? Mm. Well, Rapadu said that he could not tell whether the entries were made or not made. Ramosipil informed him that as it stands here today, he has never had sight of that occurrence book. Rapadu he is telling him the story. I understand you should do that. But your client said, I was taken into the dumping area. Mm. There is no OBS or there is no OB occurrence there. No. You start putting those questions and clarify why. You tell them. My client says one, two, three. You don't have OB occurrence. No. Does this mean that you actually were part of these people who were there in Sikanga? With my client, with my client, beating him and forcing. Hence, him to you sign. couldn't have OB OB occurrence there because OB occurrence is supposed to be in the police station. Yes, you put Where it. Is that line that, of that's questioning? why I was telling you during these past two days that Ramosipili does not finish. He has the point, but he doesn't drive them home. This is what I was talking about. This is important. He needed to drive it home to make emphasis on it. The way Mr. Anonymous has just did. You know, I, I miss those lawyers sometimes who are robust, who are not here to beg and be beggars, and be, who just put the point, drive the point home, straight. Yes, I put it to you. And that's that the thing. This confession was never done at the police station like You, you need said. to have all the characters. You need to be a nice lawyer sometimes. You need to be... A, all these characters, you need them when you are a lawyer. You cannot be a, a one-sided, rigid lawyer mm. who's going to be nice all the time. All the time. I'm Even a nice person. Your People are going to jail. Not driving and anything you are nice. home to anyone. Create that situation. You get shoe You get the whole day court. today. People must sweat. Okay. People must think about their answers. How? People, I get shoe and you get sheep pull up a court gig. Good new and you know, do you understand? You can't get, just get get rata to hey, oh, hey, to, to hey. You see, that's the thing. That's the thing. Ngomezul has it, even though it's not like that. That yes. that lady who wasn't. 
courageous case. Yes. But it's God that thing that would make someone sweat wherever they're sitting. This is where maybe I wish that there was that lawyer of Bafana Mahungela. Yes. Do you remember that lawyer yes. of Bafana Mahungela? Mm. You need someone like that. He's needed here. Because what happens is that if we are too nice, you cannot have such questions where you really are posing a question such that it makes someone feel offended. It's okay, man, if they are offended. They are not your client. You are not breaking any law. You are defending your client. You are defending your client. If they object, they must tell you what, on what grounds they are objecting. And then you must fight even that. Yes. And be overruled. It's and fine. But you have driven fine. whatever that you wanted to drive home. How, guys, imagine you are about to go to jail. Possibly for something that has nothing to do with you. Allegedly. Right? And you see your lawyer just, just become all respectful and... And no, I'm, I want you to fight. I need you to fight. You are there. You are accepted. We know that you are in Athens. Yes. You, you did have that, been that, that, accepted. But show me that you don't want me to go to jail. Leave the mark, man. Leave the mark. You, you've got points, but your points are not as clear. That's why you get those, uh, uh, what do you call that, Sibanda guy? Mm. Who sometimes ask using uh, um, his own theory of whatever that he had. Mm. And of course he's allowed. But his points, because he was allowed, mm. they went through to the judge. They did went through because he was Obviously allowed. Obviously we know the judge is... No, but this is but the opportunity to do it. And whenever the judge does that thing that he does, you just bring it up that my my lord uh, Sibanda was cross-examining. I don't remember anybody interfering with his cross-examination, including my lord there. You, you never... Some of the questions were not even... He repeated were questions. Were not even there. Some of the questions did not even exist. They came from his own theories and my lord entertained that. So now that I am asking questions... When I they say, bring me those, those, those questions, you say, lord, I'll have to look at the record again. So that I can bring them to you. To and if you that know that you are going to uh, 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 do that in court, because you know that you are going to do that, you prepare. And your yes. preparation tells you that this is how you should always prepare. You know what you are dealing arguments. with now. You yes. should always prepare. You prepare those counter You put them aside. When the judge objects, you draw that thing. You say, here. Here, uh, uh, my colleague was asking a question of such. Mm. You, you never interfere. Ngomezulu does interfered. that a lot. Yes, the court never interfered. The court never said he was repeating the same question. In fact, I can quote the many times that the same question was asked, and it was this many, many times, and you read the record. You read. You can pull it, Yasibanda. Just use it to, to, to get him to come down and give you a chance to work. So Rapadu said that he suggested that relevant people have come to this court who is supposed to give him that evidence. He said that he could not. So basically there's no proof at all that accused number two ever went to Morica, Morocco police station except for the hearsay from the police and witnesses who claim that that is what happened. This slipped through uh, Ramasepilis. You know. He should have driven it home, made sure that he covers it fully. So Ramasipili went on to the statement being read back to accuse number two and that he has an elementary education. Rapadu said elementary education is the education where you can read and write. It's not the education where you become certified in line of metric. He might not have had a metric, but he can read and write. Well, Ramasipili said, did you ask accused number two up to which standard of schooling he went? And Rapadu said, yes, I can't remember, but it was a grade below metric. Rapadu said that he interpreted the statement after he jotted down what Ndanzi said to him. How about he interpreted for us in court? You know, Ramasipili, man. Hey. Ramasipili, man. It was an off day. Then Ramasipili then said the accused testified that he's not the author or the source of the information of that statement, and if he had written it, it would have been in his own handwriting and in Isizulu because he understands Isizulu very well. But Rapadu said that he disagreed. He de he's definitely the author of that statement. So 
after the short adjournment, apparently the state um, did not have the keys to open the cells or the cell door. So the accused were kind of late. Ramasipili started with his... You or continued with it. <sighs> I put it in because... I'm putting it out there because something is not it's right. Like, it's like something some is of fishy. these things are done to frustrate these people. Something is fishy. Well, Ramasipili then said, you say you read the statement back to him and he signed it and Rapadu said, yes, you said your observation was accused number two was clean and shining. He looked like he was working somewhere and accused number two has testified that since the arrest on the 16th of June 2020, he didn't bath because his family did not know where he was. He was only brought toiletries and given money to buy further toiletries by um, Jack Butelezi on the 13th of July 2020. Remember, Jack Butelezi testified to that, that Ndanzi was even looking down. He wasn't looking him in the eye the time that the police called him to come and see him. Mm. You know, guys, remember that testimony. So Rapadu said, I disagree. He was the so judge jubilant. said he was threatened. Oh, the judge said he was threatened, Concha. He came to that conclusion all on his own. Butelezi that, never said that he was threatened. No. Butelezi did not put it on the record that he was threatened. Mm, it's the judge I see everything. I see. And they were that. quiet. They should have they should have probed on that on that. My Lord What what, what do you, you mean? What makes you come to that conclusion? And who would have threatened him at what time point and the how, how did he threaten that person? It seems like you were there. Maybe you can testify and tell the court how 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 you arrived to that conclusion? Please explain to us. We don't understand. Then uh, Rapadu said, "I disagree." He was jubilant and happy. He said he does not know what was happening with him. Kuri, the way they are describing them, they are like they were so happy to make confessions, so happy and jubilant. Ramasipili then said, I'm talking about the clothing. I'm not talking about the demeanor. And Rapa, Rapadu said that he, he's fine. The clothing was good. So Ramasipili now um, on the knock when somebody brought food because he testified that, you know what, Danzi ate before the confession or they took a break somewhere early on in the confession for him to eat. Rapadu said that it was at the beginning of the confession he took a break. He said it was 30 to 40 minutes. He is trying to tell us that he gave Ntanzi 30 to 40 minutes to eat four slices of brown bread. Maybe it's 30 to 40 minutes of assault. Who knows? With butter and black tea. 40 minutes. So he's trying to tell us that. He, he waited for him to finish eating. Well, Ramasipili asked him, why did you not previously mention that he was given food in your initial testimony? And Rapadu said, I did not see any relevance. The that question is, is the why question. is it relevant now that you bring up the food while you didn't bring it up before? That is the question. Mm. Mm. Did you record anywhere that at some stage during your interaction with accused number two interrupted by somebody bringing a meal, you were interrupted, did you bring it up? And Rap Rapadu said that if you can see the time it took to take the statement, you are able to see that there were something that might have happened in between. Ramasipili then said, I was not present there, Kenel. You know, I was not present there. So I, I had anticipated like a stronger finish, you know, a stronger fish, a finish, you know, to say, you know, accused number two says that it took long because you were watching him getting beaten up. You what is your, what is your comment? <laughs> you know, I, I hear people who say this guy wants to expose, maybe wants to expose the shenanigans happening on this case. <sighs> if you want to do that, I'm just going to make a, one example. Why, if someone is telling something different from the theory of the NPA, why do you feel the need to attack those people allegedly? 
why do you feel the need to say that if someone says something contrary to what is expected to say, like Butelis that came, why do you feel the need to say you are threatened? Why? I mean, if you want to expose, you should be excited when someone says something that is yes. is contrary to the to be, the state and is called by the state. It's a safe space. You should reassure that witness that nothing is going to happen to them. You should be able to. You should not be condescending when you hurt someone who keeps these guns in a in a that guy who came to testify mm-hmm. about the guns where they they are kept. Those mm. those uh, confiscated guns. Mm. It shouldn't that be condescending. Officer. Yes, yes. That's where I started seeing that the sound cutting it off when he treated the testimony of that police officer like that. That uh, like. Then you me, tell me that you still like, wanna expose people. <laughs> I can Rambang. Well, Ramasipili finished with his cross examination, and the asked the judge asked if the other defense counsel had no further questions, not even waiting for the interpreter to finish talking. I mean, he was talking over the interpreter to say that <sighs> he looked so uncomfortable, you guys, you know. And he went on to ask his own questions. By now, we already know what it means when he does that. Mm. We already know. So other legal teams have no question for Rapadu and the judge asked that after the confession had been ruled to be admissible, the state still has to prove that this statement was indeed made by a person who is supposed to and have made it. And the state is proving. He asked, do you know anybody Him called... Him being part of the state and MPA. Do you know anybody called Mtogoziseni, Mapisa, Sfiso, Zungu, Carlos Butelezi, Ngani, Njabulo, and Lulama? And uh, Rapadu said he doesn't know them. The judge said, before you took the statement from Mr. Ntanzi, did you know him? Remember that Ntanzi alleged that they picked up Rapadu there at the Baraguanath, Mohani and Mabel. And you want to know the funny him. thing? Yeah, now that uh, Siangoba is bringing this, do you remember that Ntanzi said uh, in his testimony, mm. he mentioned that Mohani asked him if he was Butelis. Yes, when he arrested him. He did. He did testify to that accused number. It's not only that. accused number five who was fighting in the box backers. Magistrate court. Yeah. Even in the testimony of Ntanzi, he did say that when Mohani uh, arrested him from the first time, he asked him if he was Butelis. Ntanzi's statement was just written to, indeed, it does look like it was written to align with Zungu's so called uh, testimony. Then the judge asked again, do you know where he worked? And Rapadu said, no. Where he stayed? No. It's the information that he says he got from him. (sighs) Accused number two was arrested in his place of residence. So the police and the people who arrested him. They made an investigation. They went there. So I don't know what this judge (laughs) is trying to do, guys. I don't know. So his ID number, he asked, he's the one who gave him his ID number. Accused number two said that Ms. Kunye was sitting there with his ID num- ID on, on the table and she was filling in whatever she was filling in. But he noticed his ID that Ms. Kunye had had it. And when you think about it as well, the whole case of him, of them finding a black plastic bag after they left him in the car. That the means they would have accessed the house. Released him. But anyway, we move. Mgome Zulu asked, during the taking of the statement, before you wrote what you say accused number two told you, was there any stage where you ask for clarity before you write the statement? And Rata's face there, that was offish. Yes, Mgome Zulu was debunking what Rata is trying to do. If something was not clear from what he was saying, did you at some stage ask for clarity? This is Mgomezulu asking Rapadu. And Rapadu said no, because the first line when he explained uh, to him, he didn't write. He said, I wrote when I started to say, now I am writing down everything that you are going to say. This absolutely made no sense. Meaning everything you got it once, you, once you, it was narrated, 
you got it correct and you obviously you didn't get everything correct because they are wrong so he's saying that he's just wrote uh, wrote everything exactly as the accused was saying and he made no mistakes and made no stop patience to say let me stop here and ask <sighs> So police officer Mahlangwela Moses Mboto, who took down accused number one, Moses Bia's confession on the 30th of May 2020, the same day that Sibia was arrested, came to the stand. Mboto read Sibia's confession, and since it appeared that the deponent is in his sound and sober senses, blah, 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 let me go to the confession. In between September and October 2014, it was Isabata, which is Saturday. My friend, Marco ah. Butelez. As Baba Jet Bashai, as a father in Sabah. Isabata. Tina, meaning as Umtribel. No, Isabata is normally used for, uh, 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 by people who go to church or on Saturday, like uh, the Shembe people. Seventh day, they, they, Adventist. Yeah, Isabat. Tina, as good to Umtribel. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. In fact, they went home with the, what is that TV issue that went home to interview the father? Mm. You would have seen uh, white stone around the, the, the yard. Mm-hmm. They were, I, I don't remember seeing them. Oh, they would have had white mm-hmm. stones to indicate. All right. So he said, uh, my friend Marco Butelezi and Makimba Butelezi. Now I was like, who are these ones now? Now I was surprised. I thought maybe these ones, maybe are, are background players who were just going to, uh, and then by keeping number number, they, everyone else goes there. I can't know. I'm, jo- I'm joking. As I'm listening, these people, in fact, they're going inside their house. Marcos on Saturday. And Makimba entered the house and demanded cell phones and then shot the now deceased Senzo Meiwa. Mm. On that week in that year, during that week, it was on Wednesday, I was at my place at a hostel in Fos Loras at Basutun section. And I received a call from my friend, Marco Butelezi and Makimba Butelezi. Both were staying at Fos Loras hostel, but Zulu section. The person who was calling me was Marco, but I heard on the background that he was with Makimba. I told him that I am present, and he said that he's coming with Makimba. Mm. Few minutes, they arrived by polo, a white polo in color. You know, yes. we have a white polo now. We had a silver polo in that other confession. Now, a white now we have a white polo. And it was driven by Makimba, but the owner of the polo is Marco. Both they are from Kwanongoma in KZN. How come did he not say that he's also from Kwanongoma if he really wrote that confession? He's saying that these people are from, uh, wouldn't he say we? I think not all of these people are coming from Kwanongoma. Some they come from, is it Matabatin or something? Mm. So it made it difficult for them to actually separate. He just said, I just entered the car and sat at the back seat. Marco said to me that there's a job we need to do. I asked him what job. Then Marco uh, said that they were hired by Kelly to kill Senzo. Mm. Then I asked the suspect, which Kelly and which Senzo? The suspect said, Kelly Kumalo and Senzo Meiwa. They are the people we are talking about. Now, this statement was, I can almost predict, it was made before Danzi's statement. Ne. And the distance, uh, I mean, the days between these two statements must be really far apart. Because remember... I think at this time... Accused number one said the first time they arrested him for this case was in 2019. Did he not say that? Yes. And they are denying it. Because this theory, they are saying they you can only continue bringing this theory when things. you know that this is already in front of the court. Hmm. This theory does not make sense. 
He said they are the people we are talking about. I asked them if they already charged the money, and they said yes, they charged 100,000 rands. Both Marco and Makimba charged for the killing. Marco was the one who was having dreadlocks, and Makimba was wearing the red, the cap, a red in color, and I was wearing a white cap. Those caps we were wearing on Saturday. And no, the one no with the dreadlocks. Now it's no longer a hoodie, it's caps now. And the hat that fell and with the DNA. Yeah, the one with the dreadlocks was wearing a wool hat. They're not talking about accused number three. Please don't get confused. They're talking about a Someone new who has passed away. We don't know. They've never been at court. Or Marco. That's who they're talking about. And the other one might be uh, might still be in jail in Kalagabusha mm. there. Case it and when that where where and Duli was when he was fetched. So these people that are being talked about on CBS statement have are not before the court. Yes. So the accused remind uh, that in order not to mix the days, sometimes we drove same time to the traditional Hila Mkulu as we used to call him, and he is from Swaziland. He's the traditional healer we used to go there before we were committing crime. He's from Swaziland, Inyanga, stays at Katlehong at Palm Ridge, and we entered there, three of us. Marco is the one who explained to the traditional healer Mkulu that we want to check if we are going to succeed on doing this job. He further mentioned to Mkulu that we are going to kill Senzo Meiwa. There is a purple today. Are they going to succeed? And we brought or hired by Kelly Kumal, who was the girlfriend to Senzo Meiwa. Marco told us that Kelly uh, wants money from Senzo, but he never told Mkulu that. Mkulu checked for us and said that we are going to succeed to kill the person. And he also gave us protection medicine and belts to put on the arms or at our waists, which was going to make us succeed in killing him and to protect us from any danger. We paid Mkulu 50 rands for checking our job. Such a huge job, and Mkulu charges them 50 rands. A huge job of taking people's lives, and he's charging 50 rand. It's a circus, man. When we finished the job, we decided that we must pay him Mkulu 5,000 rands. And we left to the hostel, and they left me there to their places of residence. I sat at my place, and we never spoke until Saturday. When I received the call from Marco, where he told me that we are going uh, in the afternoon to do the work which we were planning to do, they never told me the time, but they arrived at around um, 1800 hours and they took me by the very same polo I was sitting at the back seat Makimba was driving the vehicle drove to the address for Sloras and exactly parked by the corner as Makimba was driving while we were driving to the place Marco received a call and I heard Marco answering the phone and saying we are on our way coming Sisendeleni hmm God bless you if you believe this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm struggling to keep a straight face reading all of this. <laughs> After dropping the call, oh, he told us that Kelly is calling and she wants to know if we are coming. Then we alighted at the corner and we walked on foot to the house. Then the forearm was with the firearm, my apologies, was with Marco. Then he asked who was going to enter the house. We discussed that we will make us uh, as if we are committing a robbery. <laughs> and the firearm was one and it was in Marco's position. So they discussed that, you know what? We're going to do this and we're going the to move the style. Like a, well, in Kabi, like don't do that. In Kabi, come in and do what they need to do. Either way, they're here to come into crime. Why are they should they need to be creative? They are painting these amateurs, these people. You know, the comedy movie, guys. What are we going to do? Hi, we're going to make it look like a robber just before you go into the house. You know, I've been asking myself this thing of the so called confessions that were dropped for accused number. Three, four, five. 
it has been worrying me. Now I came to the conclusion that actually the only people who were outside are these two. Mm-hmm. So the reason for keeping them beyond the so-called dirty cases, if those dirty cases fail, they needed something, some sort of a confession. Mm. To link them finally to the Senzo Meiwa case. They needed the confessions. Do you think that those confessions were made freely and voluntarily if they needed so bad? They nah. needed them so much? Nah. Marco asked who was going to get in, and I tell them, no, me. I am going to stand outside and watch if there is somebody who will come and disturb us. I must quickly report. Marco and Makimba quickly got into the house. Marco was the only one who was in possession of a firearm. Mm. They entered and closed the door. Different theory from what we, we, uh, what has been driven here. Uh, the theory is that they both had weapons. Mm-hmm. In fact, eventually had what looks like a gun. Mm-hmm. Hence the issue of revolver changing and True. all that. It could have been the other one. Pistol. We haven't had such theories that we were putting because, wow, what can you say? Please like the video. Guys, um, uh, 700, 356 likes. Uh, we can push it to 700, guys. Please like the video. Like the video, guys. And they entered and closed the door and demanded cell phones. So according to them, they said that they found three people in the house. That was Meiwa and the two girls in the dining room. One of those two girls was Kaylee. They now found three people. Three people. What happened to Zandi's mom? What happened to Tumelo Mtogozisi? Um, who else am I leaving? Long, where who, who, who pushed? What did he do? He pushed. Both intruders out of his way. They found three. He went out and he forgot the, the Again. Phone. And there was, a, there was someone you. standing outside. If both you believe case, In this. both cases, there was someone standing outside. Uh, listen, the funny thing is that the person standing outside checking out the coast doesn't have a gun. The one who's looking out, who's on the lookout, does not have a weapon. Never mind the fire. No weapon. One of those two girls was Kelly. They said he was um, refusing with the cell phone. He meant she. That's Kelly. She, Kelly was refusing with the cell phone. And he stu- she stood and grabbed each other with Marco. Do you remember who pointed that cell phone on the picture? And it was like, hey, hey, hey. Hi, 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 hi. Marco took out the firearm and shot at him. Kelly ran to the bedroom and came back while still pushing each other and the sound of the firearm came out. As a result, Kelly ran back to the bedroom and the shots came two times again and they came out running and we ran into the car which was parked at the corner of the street. We drove to the hostel and they said they never took anything, cell phone or money. Early in the morning, I received a call from Marco and he said that he was going to call and collect the money from Kelly at about 9 o'clock. He says, I received the money from Marco who told me that we have reward for our job. He gave me 30,000 rands for my share. We agreed uh, some of us to give Mkulu 5,000 rands for his assistance in his job. Mkulu helped us to rinse ourselves with other medicine to remove the bad luck. We came to the room where they dropped me and they left. Nobody came to us or police. The story was quiet. I read that somebody is arrested in this case and I know that it is a wrong person. And it took a short time and both of them were arrested for the crimes. But we corrected him to say for other crimes. The firearm was used, sold to Sitole from Umsinga in KZN. So this firearm is now alleged to have been sold in KZN. That is the firearm that was used to kill Senzo, which was owned by Marco Butelezi. Makindi Butelezi was arrested in KZN, and Marco was killed by the police in Davidton during the arrest. They were arrested after two months. 
So two months after that incident, it is being said that they were arrested. However, Mark Wain was killed by the police in Daverton during that arrest. And Makinda is in prison, I think, allegedly. Oh, yeah. He's in prison, yeah. I think so. So these confessions, in my opinion, are not make sure. They are very vast and different. Where is in Tanzi in this one? Where is not only in Tanzi, a lot of them they are not here. Where are they? So Baloy asked him to read some more of the statement and it was obtained at twelve o'clock midnight on the same day that he was arrested, the midnight he had already done with the statement. The time they commenced was quarter to ten at night. The suspect never read the statement himself, but only rectified the other officer about the day when the caps were were worn. He said wet, but it's worn. Mm. Yes. On paragraph three, um, they met in two days. That is when he rectified that they were wearing those caps. He forgot to mention the, the, the hat. The hoodie. And, and the hoodie. There was one hoodie, I think. Yeah. There was one hoodie, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So Mgomez will stood to cross-examine Boto, and he asked him, is it your evidence that the author of the statement was Musica Lelas B? And he said, yes, for the record purpose, what makes you to say that he is the author of the statement? And Boto said, it's because he was with me telling me the statement. So this statement was signed in front of you in your presence by Musica Lelas B. And Boto said, that's correct. So you are not the author of that statement, but you took the statement from Musis B. And Boto said that's correct. This statement, according to paragraph one, it relates to an incident that happened on Saturday. Do you agree? And Rapadu said, uh, went to paragraph one and said, yes, I was told like that. Mgomezulu then said, this statement talks about three people. It, te- it talks about Muzi, it talks about Makindi, and it talks about Marco. First paragraph, they are three. You know, he had to go back. He had to go back to the statement to check what three people Mgomezulu was talking about. On a statement that he wrote and that he says was written, he had to check what this question if those three people are there on the first paragraph. Mm. Then Gome Zulu said that this statement further confirms that Marco is the one who shot Senzo. Do you agree? And Boto said it is written, yes. Gome Zulu said the statement further confirms that people that were inside the house were three, two ladies, and Senzo Meiwa. Do you agree? And Boto said that is what I am told. You were further told that Muzis Bia was not inside the house when Senzo Meiwa was shot. Is that correct? And Boto said it is what it is written. I was I was told it's correct. Mgome Zulu then said, and this statement further said that this is a plan that pretended to be a robbery. Is that correct? And Mboto said that's correct. And this statement further says that the firearm was used to kill Senzo, was sold to another person in KwaZulu Natal. Mboto said it's correct. It further mentioned that the amount that was paid was to the Inyanga was 50 rand plus 5,000 rands. Mboto said yes, plus another 30,000 rands to the accused. Mgome Zulu said, this statement further talks about Kelly Kumalo having contacted these people mentioned in the statement to kill Senzo Meiwa. When you were taking the statement at the time when Muzis Bia was brought to you during the course of the taking of the statement, were there any clarification questions that you asked Temba in relation to what he was saying according to you? And Boto said, yes, there are clarification questions. Mgome Zulu said, I just want to take the court to the room where you were with Temba Sibia when he was making the second statement. Those questions, can you give an example of a question that may be clarified for you to write after the satisfaction? And Mboto said, I asked him how he, he did explain things that happened inside the house when he was outside. That's when he started to tell me, according to them, according to them, I remember that one. So for me already, I was on on edge and thinking about how Muzi saw what happened inside the house and yet he was scouting outside of the house. Mm. So 
he quickly covered himself here to say that he was told that that is what happened by the other parties. But how come in the statement it's not written like that? In the statement, it's written as if Musi was inside the house and he saw what happened. That is true. So then Mboto said, that's correct. Marco is no more. He is unalive. He can't come and give evidence. And Mkomezu That's when said, he was showing. He was showing that he knows these people, if you ask me. Do you know the whereabouts of Makindi? And Boto said he doesn't know. You were asked about the condition that accused number one was in at the time he made the statement. Will you comment about his state of mind? And he said he had clothing, his attitude, he was very positive, and he was relaxed, freely talking. Boto said uh, they were informed before you took the statement that he was arrested on the same day. Okay, this is Mgo asking, Gomezulu asking him that you were informed that he was arrested on the same day. Mboto said no. He says he was not informed. Okay, that accused number one was arrested on that day that he was taking his confession. But he told him through the pro forma. Gomezulu asked him, was it necessary for the deponent to sign the last page to attach his thumbprint? And Boto said, yes, it was necessary. Now, Mgomezulu asked, what do you say that it was necessary? Why do you say that it was necessary? And Boto said, because it's his statement. The rest of the defense counsel had no further questions, and Balui stood to ask another question. Taking a page from Judge Ratam Khwateng's book, he asked Mboto if he knew anything about the contents of the statement. Mboto was even confused with the question. He didn't understand what Advocate Balui was asking him. He said, I know the contents of the statement. I am the one who wrote it. I like that. Balui because you are saying you wrote it. But <laughs> but I then asked him, do you know the truthfulness <laughs> of it? And you were just writing. And Bota said, no, no, I can't know. I can't know. The judge, yeah, had his own questions. Mm. He continued to assist the state. Mm. He said, the contents thereof, you heard it from him. Are you saying that Mboto? And Mboto said, that's correct. What about his address? Did you know where he was staying before you met him on that particular day? And Mboto said, no. Mkulu, did you know Mkulu? Mboto said, no, I got it from the accused. And the amounts he listed, all the names mentioned in the statement, Mboto said everything he got, it was from the accused. So that's a wrap from me, guys. I am done with this yeah. script. Let us take one or two calls. I'm done with this script. I'm tired. Yo, kunini bawo, kunini tigeleza. Or two calls. Hear what you have to say. Um, neon weights. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Let me prepare. Okay, please be patient. Do not hang up. Just hold on, hold on. We are connecting you right now. You're going to have your voice heard. Hello? Hello? Yes, Mzanzi Reality, hi. Emily, how are you? I'm good, and you? Emily, how are you? All is good, sir. All is good. Uh, is responding. Okay, how are you, Mr. Anonymous? Yeah, we are all good. We are all good. Yeah, I'm also Mr. Anonymous here. Yeah? Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, I just want to raise some few points. Firstly, I just want to uh, give you some direction where I'm coming from so that you will understand or whatever is happening, whatever I'm going to tell you now. That is not something that I heard of or it's something that I know. Yeah. I think you know the area of Nongoma. Yes. The way you are talking, it seems like you know it. Mm. Yeah, when you are going to Enyogini, there are robots there, you turn left. Yes. Going up as if you are going to Enyogini. Yes. There is a short left, a travel short left. Mm. Go up there, first houses, zoom houses, 
There is yes. a mountain there called Tilikuru. There are houses down that mountain. Man. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's where, it's where in that area, in that surrounding, it's where I'm coming from. Okay. So most of the things, most of the things we used to do it down when you pass any again, going down to a high school falaza and then going down there by the uh, graveyard and then the primary school. So most of the things we used to do it there. Mm. So I used to play soccer. Yes. So I used to play soccer with uh, my pizza. Yes. I used to play soccer with the guys. So Ntanzi is not at our age group at all. Yes. Even now, at the beginning of this case, I was really, really shocked because for me, mathematically, it didn't make any sense because when I remember him quite correctly, because myself, I didn't grow up there. I used to go visit from where I was staying because of schools and distance. Yes. So I used to go there and visit Kabuma December mm. and then Good Fridays. Yeah. So what used to, like, when I, when I, the first time when I met that boy, yeah. he was these thin boys and uh, very, very uh, short. Mm. And he was having this uh, lady face. Mm. You understand? That's the first time I met him. So when we, like, when the time goes by and everything, and then I heard that he's arrested, I was very shocked because I can assure you, Guri, the way I know that boy, he can't even kill a fly to save his life. Mm. So whatever is happening to him, I'm very, very shocked. Ish. I understand. Yeah. And to check the way they are putting the story and the money you got, uh, checking age-wise, and then the involvement of Ntuli. Uh, mm. And if you don't know the history of Ntuli, just go back and check uh, who is Ntuli. Then you will you will see what I'm talking about. Or how can we got that such share of an amount and then Ntuli, how much did he get? Mm. to understand yeah yeah so such things also it it doesn't paint a picture for me or like how come was he involved that boy mm. and mm. also the other thing if you can go back to the beginning of the case the beginning beginning of the case where the judge was still that bad guy who, who was who was confused yes who was that guy what was his name Maumela. Maumela. if you can Maumela, if you can go back and 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 and, and check uh, the evidence of um Chogozi Sitwala. Yes. You remember that day if we came out in the media and he said one of the people who is inside the house is gonna come and testify mm. uh, all these things. Yes. And then the person that came into my mind, for me, the person that came into my mind, it was um um to this twelve True. because there was nothing that was said in that in that time there was nothing that was said about to this yes and to Melo, if you remember when he brought the evidence he said he went out with him to this and to this he was busy on the phone. with the phone on the phone while he was smoking mm. and remember that time they were trying to paint a picture that the wife of Senzo Meiwa is the person who bought, who bought the, the people to kill Senzo. Mm, mm, it sounded like that. And then, it, yeah, it sounded like that at that time. But now the story, it changed now. It was a robbery gone wrong. Now it changed now again. Now they are putting some... You see now, if you can look at NPA and the decision that they took before they opened this fight, it re- we are really losing trust and we are, we are, we are, we are a joke to the people who are watching this case from outside our country. Yeah, we are a joke. We are, we are, we are, we are really, a, we are really a joke. Mm. And uh, also the other point that I wanted to, 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 to raise is the point of, um, I just want you guys to check the in court. Mm. Uh, accused number one and accused number two, they are really, really cozy. And I will tell you why, because they are almost at the same age group. Yes, mm. yes. And then the other three also, they are cozy because they're at the same age group. Mm. So mm. now, do you think these guys, they know each other? The way, like, just look at them in court. Just check them in court. The way the, the, these guys, they are sitting and the way uh, they share information. It's rare to see 
Peter and Z talking with these other guys because they are not really on the same age group. That's how we grew up. The people who are older to us, respect, it's rare yeah. to find me talking with Ari with those people because of their respect and we're not like this thing of fighting the Ogulwa. It's not all in the world. Mm. So you, 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 you group yourself with the people of Ulua Nabo. Yes, that's true. That's how we grew up in that era. And for this guy to say he was a big guy interpreter, I can dance. Aye, my man. The guy is Zulu. Is Zulu as far in fact? And is Zulu as cool in your language? Is Zulu as cool in your mind? It's way different. Yeah. And it for for a person who doesn't know Zulu. It's difficult to tell. I'm definitely sure which is going to be difficult for Emily to understand dance. Mm. But it's going to be easier for, for Emily to understand me now because it's a misul as fun as can dance. Yeah. yeah. I understand. Yes. And, and, and also the other point for Ntuli to send upon dance there when there's such crime in, in such a huge money mm. like that. It also doesn't make sense. And also, for one shot, go back to the cases. I want to buy a hamburger. I want to buy 50,000. How do they circle that end to that, that, that thing? Yeah. For 50,000. So for 100,000, do you think they can, uh, they, can, they, can, they, can, they can just shoot that person with one shot? And go celebrate before the person even passes Ooh. on. Hey, they are playing with us, these people. They think we are kids and we can't see what is happening. And this Baloi, Aish, Bafut, it's, 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 it's this sad. Baloi, I, Bafut, very sad, very sad. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Anonymous. Thank you thank for you. sharing the life. Yeah, thank, thank you, thank you, you. Thank you, Emily. Thank you for calling. You know, because when S- we say it, it's like we are cray cray or we are defending or Mr. Anonymous, you've been saying. Yeah, let me get this. Mzansi, hello. Hi, hi guys. How are you? Hi. Good, and you? Good, good, good. Uh, just a few thoughts. Mm-hmm. Um, just one thought about yesterday before we get on to today. Yes. Um, yesterday, hey, I was emotionally defeated. Uh, if hey, the judge killed me yesterday, if he mm. really killed me yesterday, I I really really thought he wouldn't admit those confessions and he's admitting nonsense <laughs> and he's admitting nonsense why is the state fighting so much <laughs> to admit nonsense when they've read these statements <laughs> not that they've read these statements when you can see they've made these statements themselves what nonsense did we go through today what was that You know, um, each, each judge today for me, um, I don't know if you noticed, even even last week when like, mm. the judge, you, you'd see that he would sigh every time when the, when the defense about to speak, he sighs first. Why, why does he sigh? Uh, I don't know, and the the pen, cover, cover, cover. Yeah, the pen as well. You know, he sighs. You know, he tries to enjoy man in boga mil and enjoy gingam gingam cars and enjoy in in ganja. We go on a look screen, magu ganja. Exactly, we go to be zonge kamatua in. Good. Unzalo, we try to see. We try to look kamag. We try to enjoy things and go. Unzalo, go abalazi, look abalazi. Yeah. And um it it depends as you guys have mentioned already tonight, you know. Mm. Um I feel they 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 are not going through the process of like the the previous uh um Episodes and uh, we can say episodes because everything is on tape. Pillar man, they can go back yeah. and before you know who's going to come and testify, go back and see what was said before, yes. so you know what to ask, so you don't leave gaps. Mm. Yes, you know. So like what I must say, like you were mentioning that you can go through and check was was or whoever where they asked about food. 
did they make a comment? If they didn't make comments, then today he's saying no, it was irrelevant last time. I like no, it was relevant. It was brought up. Go through that stuff. Spend the weekend. Go through tapes. Find mm. out who's gonna be brought on next week. Mm. Like oh, oh, like Baloy, he knew who was the 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 defense gonna bring up. These guys must ask on Friday who's coming up next. Mm. Mm. Find out who's coming up next. You can't just say no. See you Monday morning at ten. Hey, uh-huh. we need to know who's coming who's up next. next if the judge says no, you don't need to know. Like ah, oh, judge, that last time you guys knew who was coming up next, and you prepared and you blocked over witnesses. So yeah. we want to know as well who's coming up next. Mm. So we can prepare. Anyway, thank you guys. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you for that different angle. Zanzi, hello. <laughs> I'm <laughs> 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 Uma is what you say, who no mudas on sentence, who's on sentence based on which version. Lea Bandaba Sengi, the Wagan Tanzi, Noma Wagas B, and Noma Wagas Zoom. Ubung, Nelden Buganga, and Boba Uma Uzo Uzo Hambang, Yabandaba Sengi, Ubaleguing in Yao. Yeah. Cutting a kimond, Umu Hambang, a gun Tanzi, or Hanjong Monte Silva. Umu Hambang, a gas beer, or Hanjong Monte Mshop. O e e gas bia specifier e e e zini zini tu guti o o o inyanga e asesua zini but i i tell you guti e uba ni parati gua bobo bata tu i kumana nuke uba ni kumana nuke ni uba na plan nuke because you can't tell me guti ngati no bula lumundo besen plan esa ngun lako nuguti uba huzo mbula sen se sa ngun lako Mandi nkabanga la hapu uti uba wazo chati decision, uba wazo ngena nispam, uba wazo tin. Endi ile ega na kuza nebese uti ega ntanzi ya shegi sango ba what if ba mtu wano kutelezi, sutilo kutelezi, ubezo banga haba ni labu kutelezi hapa bekazo usbi. Mm. Then e, e kulumi story shugi ile futi ena. E mbona ya tuchati ngele la ini senga ayo. Ay manga tuwa kumta nga msende enza nga lezi ngelu kuzenze gala hapa. Ewe obu strong, uzo bu nespeed, but nge lenza nga ayo, ay. Chudukom does on sentence, what so choose I to go to lazy to rake to a little lap. Angas and Gobaba sent him back to me stores up. Who's be Kurubabanda Bata Tenjin? Besser would take and dance. I specify in the Bioksha and Nani. I cause a looty tool and eating and a soul. I mean, I to any specs, I switch one specs. I would like I, I mean, I'm being eating all of Kunya may be the specific who to ban when Zuguti, Rugal, Nubani, Lona when Zuguti, Safig and Lini, Minanga Shawa, Nasiska. Mm. Like in game proof of the Kurumanga, you econ. But in a Kurumelu, Uba, not to blame a Puma, a Balega mean, Bebo, a gay Kum to Kuluma, Golong, Woody Konum to a Pum, Mendin, Konum to Wenzagalan, Aikuluna, Unge Leon, two Agakulu, Agakulu, your Uma Piso, Abu, and Geninji. Abandava sent in a bypass to go to a Puma or Munya Semyang, Wangeno Munyo Mush, or who should keep in the show and dance, I find in the show Abandava sent in. So Uchachi, this are who Uzo Chusa. May to humble of Uzo Fun sentence with dancing or confession yet, but still I find in the show about our singing. Mm. Abanda was singing about song booty, or Pumu Muni Wangi no moon. Abanda was singing about reporting with Bala Shagra man. Yeah. Babu. Abanda was singing about Kulmanga footing in the Bayer Monto, good Wabagua Wune Monto, a silver, Obaloma, Maloma, Piru, Baloma, Mofiga, La Quata, Eki Mondia. Yes. Yes. So it's the touching news in Ganda and the Enga Pelen. So you are correct. City version of Abanda was saying, "A correct." Who who's be you this pam Saturday? Is the Lumdua same thing? Who can you do this pam Monas? So which is which? I assume. Mo wuti confession. Who should it seems be you right? Was the Lumdua Abanda was same thing? Is that about this pam Islam? Who mundo yeto? Who bulawa? Who who makimba? Who bulawa? Who who carros? Yes. Who to carros? Why in your coffee go makimba? Ubu abanda ba ba lega ba ba lega nge monte msho. Boto abanda ba ba lega nge monte silva. Futi kusenzo mwenye wa wabula wangesa bata. Yebo. Ha ingeso. Yebo. So yebo nukuti. 
Uchaji, uchaji ukubani mta simbwa ibone bengmele ila asele ndole yonke nje le ili nonsense nje ika menga chili ifaneli nonsense because indi ekwe nziwa engbo nti enziwa la bagba zara nangi skati Fute zi ni kwa ngeko tuumi, kwa ngeko mtogo, kwa ukonu senzo na wanda wazana otu, babe otu yi Ula ibonu kuti ega sbiya ya specify nga banda wa sengin, moya uwe ganda anza ikulunga banda wa sengin banka aki Hmm Ikuluma nje inda bivelibe ngo senzo Ukaros u, 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 u kwa bambu senzo Kwa kumispam Mina ngatati mali Igu upi mali njini Igu upi mali njini Ya iku upi nenda we njini I specify Ye tuwa igu i container Igu upi njini Niko saba ndaba senjini Bati umduwa iba njoo senzo Ilo OSB ilo enga semnyango Aksu yenu mdo kukano wa ipeti spam So i invasion ganda ando Ganda anze I mean I contradicta inde show Banda babe nga paga hati njini I pick sana nae yeah. Iti yono, iti use, usenzo wabamba umtu wangena nispa mm. Utundanzi Iveshini ya banda wa sengini Itu u, usenzo e wabamba umtu SB yeah. Utundanzi Usenzo wabamba umtu wa ipeti spa Uyabona jia manji umu chaachi Uzoti huo kwa right Uzoti abanda wa sengini batamba mangu Untianzo kwenzil No muntianzo kwenzil abanda wa sengini batamba mangu Sifun, Gifunu kuti siti Iconfessini ii ikliniso So itata njengu wa baby ya mwa mteti Ikliniso ndi show undanzi le No menga isho mwa ngende le padwe nga ngoba Ngende le nga specify nga ya tuusa Yinde nga ti umtu wa tekotwe lwa something mm. Na wikotwe lwa mwenye mwundu mm. Not as if umtu wa tekotwe lwa kwa Yebo Because nge lwa yona nga ti Lomtu wa ole andi isi dati ikabanga No mwikotwe lwa ngoo mwenye mwundu Yebo I specify next <laughs> Asizo kwa enu nte anzu kutu baanu mtu wa ekuluma nuke Kubandu mm. akasa uke Tu gituso kuti untu ulitui nkabe sabe gaya Utumelo mafunda anezi Mpere Watu laba kona febe nga ye nzilendo Nale, nale ne kone nye inte common with it menzabu uti Nga afone lwa ubani But I head over the phone uti nga ubani Yebo Nga afone lwa u, 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 u makimba But ngezu kuti uno mako Mm-hmm. So, a funny thing, any you notice we confession gantanzi. Ya bona tinas na mazulu zofagaza wena put. It is rare but it's busy nga maka mesngi is nitu karos. Ay, mbela, ay, ay, ya kambanga kashelapu. Si, nga banga, niti, unga nwa mu karos. Is it the mundu mbiza ni name, no mange kamale zo. Ikwa yene lo karos, enga shincha be u karos. Ya bonga tu ukalos Uzo ba omu nyumu tufuti O nga kuti isteti Aga velu kutu pelelebi Uya bona utu ntanzi wafonelua Umtuko ziseni Uwezwa over the phone Umtuko ziseni wachelu ntanzi Ubuti kuno msebiz Aba utoli Aksi yuma peace But umtuko ziseni agaya kola Kono mapeace Kono mapeace No uwezwa gala over the phone Ubuti Ngamuzwe kuno mapeace over the phone Why, why umtuko ziseni agaya kola Owe yeno o wachelu ntanzi pe mtu balisti kime ndu kutu. Mtu wakufanele landwe, wakufanele landwe, mtu wazi seni. Nga chichi jemba, machelo mtu wazi seni mtu wazi seni. Fanele landwe mtu wazi seni pe. No, agaya kumtu wazi seni. They made a mistake, they made a plan that day. That was a plan. They meant one person. Kwa hibona uguti, uguti ngebele ndia ngiso uguti. I statement is going to answer. Nga chichi, homu nyu mtu kate kote li ngwe. Yeb, yeb. Ngoba, Gifonelo mtuo ziseni, ngiezwa, I head over the over wood, ngati kune voice gama peace. Hey. Umuga anuwa mtuo ziseni. Mwote ya lalela nosbiya, nosbiya ngifonelo uma, uma, uba, 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 uma kubtelezi asbiza nga njalo ngezi zulu so ba isha ili la pistoro sabu suba isha ili mwelewezi research ama zula biza nga njani yeah. mwelewezi over spot yeah. on eyo kutu eyo kutu ini ya mbalegele ngia mkolelo undanzi uma eti bafike batu kubtelez yeah. we as nga lipi kutu yeah, cheka la uzbiya oba njwe gala utuwa ya mana bafana ba kubtelez yeah. Besu pegu kuti lo mundu owa shiwo ubaba ungome zulu Ubutu wa sentenzo wikilisa wa nongoma yeah. Umfano wa kutelez, lo ule umutu kutelez bongo saa yeah. Ya yibona lenda iti kutelez So ya bongi meleke siya kutak suyenu umatu imba lo yeah. Angazu ba nonga sikekela la pili Ak suyena nukusi Kase kase untanzi hundoro I feel like untanzi Wafanele bila Hey, upeti sisto Wabase 
Untanzu pete si story endi segu uji tage. <laughs> Ayo pete si story. Ngomo <laughs> upega. Why konda nukuti is, is into us beer in obtilis. Mm. Ina bafana kwa obtilis. Mm. 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 Uma efi wa mtanzi. Ufunu mfana kwa obtilis. Umto sentence wa gile kiesi gila ndelewe kwa nuntanzi. Obtilis na. Mm-hmm. So uki nina was not informed kutili ya kiesi peli. Itiliwe na usendenzi umu. Yeah. You are still looking for a car. Yes. Bepe obtilis. Ouzu udi mai. Ufuna lo mfana wabitelezi, mabefi ya lo mchita, batu wabitelezi, utitaka si wabitelezi yen, ukibi pasla haki, because it's fun, alendo eti yecha hati, ibuzu kuti, IT number, wakni gaena. Izi ni labandu wa batati ama IT, utundanzi batati, waza watipuwa na gisengi nigili IT ya, mm. kutuwa nanzi ishu tu mwobani. Mm. So why it's fun kuti na mtu ni IT, because utundanzi wama nigili za labandi IT. Yeah. No chati na ngazu kutukoni zinda IPMA, watu wa usi mtalo mafanele IPM. Eh, mtom dala, rapot, mtom dala, se fie se, au oh, kose. Ah. Mm. <laughs> Koro nje kuti se mi vala, ay, mina ngbonu cha chukuti, niso nga chukutaka nipega nja, nilena ngobeti ena uwafundi swa oba, nebala banda babala ay. Wenzi mmes na nge, nge toku mwala ma confession. Ay, mmes. Wenzi mmes. Mmes ngoba. Ugubuke nge nga tije nga maje, sengi na maveshe na manini, uzo chuza ipi ngobe nja alo awa linki. Ay. Na pande u ilindi ya mavezi na onke ukusona gasens upe. Yeah. The rest umdu ni ine store sake. Aba se ndi mba nesab. Nuhundi anzu nesab. Yeah. Es ngeko specific is gan dance. Yeah. Es kasbi ya specific nesab ata. And undi usenzo mwenye wa shona ngeson. Yeah. And why even state sise sise sibize confession. Leo doopi uzo melebe ponte ulala ngatu wena ba. Yeah. No mfwe tu asbo. Ainge abonga baba mbe trend. Asbo nga kuru mfwe tu shayi. Sharp, sharp. Oh, man. Let me choose. Uh, because the attendance is... Let me just choose this one. Mzansi, hello. Mzansi, hello. Hey, Mr. Anonymous, I'm Emily Njani. Sapi, I'm Emily Njani. Hi, Sapi, I'm Emily Eh, when South Africa, I move sketch in Ganewa. Eh, I wanna put the eh, minus cutting this thing, no pay ID, begging and Lela Owen doing a corner. I'm an investigation. We are born with the South Africa civil thing and be. Usuzi are sab and pray to come by just threat, moving abortion and change. Uham, you're selling into my entity. Mm-hmm. So the question in Ibuza on a law, which Bebaz would take that man is Utula and is their contractors or two, their Shaisa, or the Batata Lazar did when the boy present that before a court. Nandler and Wanga corner, in the end, the state would see Loganga and would fund a mistake man. But Funa would destroy him evidence with Umuto Abula Obsens of Meiwa. That person was inside the house. Mm-hmm. That's why they are fighting so hard with the mistake man, our fool. Mm-hmm. Who was uh, a destroyer young and yeah. dole? Because there is no way Mr. Uh, uh, anonymous who took a chatter, a case and you present that before he caught. Yeah. That's a whole question. This is a nonsense, in fact. Yes. And this thing, it, it, it's very sad. It's very sad. It is. Because when the young are born, even no judge, I mean, I understand the judge. Oh, I am mass. I want to learn to protect or send Those people, they are, they, they, Baba is I'm sorry to say that. Mm, but they know exactly what are they, they, yeah, it's alleged. Mm. <laughs> they know exactly what they are doing. They are protecting someone. How can you fight to read such confession? This is a nonsense confession. Mm. How can you fight? Because then to Aishan, if you pega hey, that man, they, uh, we wanna uma wenza i i i i i i investigation. I will make an example. Yeah. For uh, abandaba or two mm. or abandaba more than two. Mm. You take those people to, to individuals' rooms and uh, 
Yeah. Uba fala kona. Then uba buza imbuzo. Mm. Then if uba buza imbuzo, imbuzo ya am answer abo anga shangana. It tell you those people they know nothing. Yeah. Yeah. We, we understand. Yeah. Angere yeah. si tiska ngi soba utu. Be soba utu kukrai. Yeah. But uma abise imbuzo imbuzo impendule zeta ifan. Mm. It must click to investigation office with no these people they know nothing because uh, uh, since I was saying you know pay ID there are there are some same stories as in the guy who I do talk about working camp a certain group of people then buzz over investigator and those people will give different vision mm. and I'm a point that they won't take that case to uh, charge because they know what I might charge a tabangai and no man. Mm-hmm. They won't take that thing. Yeah. They won't take that thing because again, it's this kind of different uh, uh, vision. But who crimes in a one? Ah, it doesn't make sense. That thing, it must be good. Those people, they were coerced. They were forced because they were fearing for their life. They ended up saying no. Let me say anything to save myself. Yes, we, we understand. Yes, that it, it tells me these people they were forced. Mm. Because if we check up our vision, it claims in E1, got the different stories. Yeah. No, there's no market, there's no ban, there's no do. This thing, it's sad, it's sad, it's sad, it's sad, like South Africa. They make our country a joke, mm. yeah, it, it's a joke, it's very sad, it's very sad, it's very sad. I don't even know what to say about this South Africa because I feel like they are kept shut. Lento a ekala pati nzo kumara ngano mupega nukubosho wa Jacob Zuba bahamba baofula imtete ngeko wa boshwa. Ya bono ya bono ya South Africa it seems like our justice is being captured. There is something wrong with our justice system. There is something wrong. Because iyona into mchambi besi ngati sele na ayo enga as protector pati ngenje lo wenze angakon it tells you those people they are captured if you don't have money ah shame on you. Yeah. If you don't have money, you may find yourself in a big trouble because our justice system is it's favoring people who have money. If you don't have money, you will die in jail. Yeah. 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 Just being funny, you put a law which okay, no, 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 because before you present the case, you read each and everything, each and every evidence that is before for you. So, yeah. they knew what some statement our fund, but she was fighting with it. Those statements our fund and our admissible. How? Fund the nonsense land, who told you this fund the nonsense? You call it. Jalwangati, Jalwangati, Gumoshi man, the matrix payers for nothing. Right. Um, hello. Hello, Fred. Hello. Yeah, 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 and for as you comment that with this is in your chart and in a pain as if man I on the case when the case is gonna start these people they wanted not uh, this case to be on TV mm. that was a red flag from the, the wet go mm. and yet I know all now the other day when the second point is yeah. But you could sense that the judge has already taken a decision. Yes. Then was proven right here yesterday. Then, when the government gave a confusion, but he confessed in a statement why Zona Zoshu is glad in the one, but it's Fumana, Umdoi one, and Lumdo Uzenza. Vorondulari, yeah, mm-hmm. when the water do work because Ude Atunda, they are mean at the upper. If Lender Ben Yenza of Tanda Wam, you should have my own statement written in Sizu. Mm. Why, why is the Nile on the lay? Because we've been, we've been saying these things, these things, Dallas is dead. Sitanga Kumbulu anonymously. They, they wanted records from the phone. Mm. 
We yeah. said they're not going to get it. It, it defends. They never received that thing. Yeah. And now we are told that these guys, they, they think they've been paid by Kay. But why is not arrested? And they confess about him, about her. Mm. Mm. No, mm. it is very painful. And it says, Ben Shaggy Saladulia. Yeah, see you, Venom. Yeah, it's very bad. Ah, like if Kodunda knows what went below, Venom, Mundana Koya Fundi, Indra began this because I was in fear to Uzota as a smooth mess. It's more of a small way. Now, Mundana and information in Aganan, but it could tell you from a distance. Ubano, I could deny from Namachita. Namachita, he forensic. But his daughter is not going to be able to Available called within 48, 48 hours. Love. Ah, babona. Never that thing happened. But whatever the 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 beenza, the beenza go go tanda wabo. No, it's it's very embarrassing and yes. very painful. Yes. And this is that's the waste of time, waste of stakes and, and and everything. Yes. Yeah, it's very painful because it feels like even if you job and decision. Which judge is going to uh, sentence this guy? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's like he, it's been done, but no, go sentence them. Yeah. Because I think this thing, if it was not on, on TV, mm. this case should have been done within five days. Yeah. The guys should have been, have all delegated yeah. for nothing, for in the bank I have you. That is the question of Giacola. Um, I will never have e, into a, a concrete. But not to go to Um, Jaco. Male Um, Jaco. Um, Jaco. Lawyer. Never have the concrete. Into a shop. Um, Jaco. Na into and the mukashen gaio. And and the job of the party is to tell the the sources of Umutiman is to get ban, yag ban. Those things they should prevent them. Yes. If ba ab asaban ba patel. Yeah, like they are doing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. hello. Hello, 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 sister Anonymous. Hi, how are you? Uh, uh, Moses, I'm Tombe, I'm Okay, okay, okay. Moses what do you say in the NA? Likamulum Wabu Ali and Amulu Mona Luen or Mutuna and Tantuna, Korika Mutuna Kabuachina, and then a Hadi Loyal at the Bua Odi Kanaka, no, Havasa Bua, but one another, Kore, Wajabisa, Dre Tamil by Simona, three seven five, Ikenaga, simple as that. Yena Kesina, I buy it. I always sign up. Yeah. Yes, Barat. 
kunjaga njali uti kutu ya mtu wa analaza ama shell phone atu kreni wa kuluma na nana wa sana baba ama boshi kunjaga njali ba usho kwepe shelo wewe weza masa wa mafoni ha uu mtu mina uke ya siti samba agara tibulanga agalanga alata sanga mtuda ula lukenda niti maa ndiku zina niti kwenye anza ndo mulo ndo lono waenda ama self phone ama disease kwa tulu kuti hivyo zika kili ya tolaga la panga kuma self phone ee kili yu o hivyo zika kaya tolaga la 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 eh into ke leyo esayichazayo kodwa ke nawunye nenye into kumele ukuthi ngisiyilungisela asisho thini ukuthi abantu abasendlini kaze benzela ukuthi esikushoyo ukuthi akho umuntu wangenayo bayizwa lo nto le eh uma ukhuluma ngokheli ukheli wayengaphakathi ukuthi uma kunjalo ukheli asithi akabaza kula lemi intenzi uma nje ngosaba ukheli kwenzaka njani ukuthi ivoice yakhe ithulala le emkumaseni edilini kuba abantu uchaba ukuthi abakulala uqhusenje hawu wawayifunani ngabantu abo hawu wawuthi wama ngiphela le ithi expert le expert le ne edila ngama cell phone voice iyanti yathi ukuthi ukheli uyatholakala ngabantu ekhuluma le edilini kanjani eh uyabona nje ngakwenzele example enjani ukuze uyibone le nto le eh ake ngithi nje ngamanje mangahamba ngifuye Oh manga tu anje manje ungfonele jobu fona anje eh, manga tu anje kufonele Oru manga tu angufonele anje Hau banga enza kanje anje anguti be, benze nga tu ungufonele Zienze kakizi nte nje nga lei technology lewa Kutu ngutwepeshe Futu twepeshe loyana uh, Agesi nga begi jutu twepeshe Agesi tu mtu wa mafoni Nga wama anje masifaki kamu twepeshe Sifaki unguti Agesi ku mtu oa figaye wati lento le eshu o twepeshe mang pega ngoku mshini impela iliqiniso lefoni yasuka la yaya lapha injalo vele le nto le usafike nje uchwephesho olethwe estate sathi inkinga nansi ziningi ke izinto ezenzeka amafoni maye mayebanjwa mayebanjwa amaphoyisa athi joke athi joke ayi abeke umuntu oko ocholi sense chal ngempela mini lelo yenzela la mm wena le case wena le case uyibona kanjalo le case Mm. Wena ngesi nga uibu na kanja nilikisi Utkishi luba ligini Hei ya buwana igwe nzi mutu utaze Nge kumbula nama bank statement Kika kepita kika bongali ntanzi The one that A lot of things can be changed Mzanzi hello Mzanzi hello Ah we good we good how are you I'm okay man you know, I've been listening to this case, man, and I'm thinking that I believe that both in India, they were caught off guard when mm. Harry Mel mm-hmm. and his company came and said, yeah. because the state is failing to find the killer, they be given the case. Yeah. I think they were busy cooking something at a time, mm. I'm alleging. Mm. So they were caught off guard while they were planning. So they were rushed. Mm-hmm. Because I don't believe Gikininda with these years of experience can cook something like this and uh, it reflect like this in, in front of, of South Africa. Mm. I believe that they were in the process of planning something. So they were rushed mm. by Evo Herimende to bring this case, this case to court before they could finish their planning. I don't think this was the statement that was supposed to come as a confession. They mm. were rushed mm. and they have to cook something to come to court. Mm. Because when I look at Balo, you understand the law. Uh, if he was to cook something, he was going to cook it better. Mm. And uh, I concur with some of the guys that are saying that uh, oh, Balo, they were hoping that uh, the judge rule against them. Yeah. Because they, they, they knew pep, 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 eh, 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 Imagine if these confessions were not read. Yeah. The country was going to be divided thinking that they did. Some were going to say they didn't do. But since these uh, confessions were read, it is more clear than before they were accepted. 
Mm. Now everyone can see that, yeah, there is a problem. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So the other thing that I didn't understand with Womgomizul and the others, why did it they on the trial within a trial to last for the whole five months when they know very well that this is the kind of a confession that it is coming? That's a good question. Because they should have allowed it. Mm. Maybe they... They were thinking of they maybe they were thinking of a win in a different way. If they close this tri- trial within a trial, then the case is almost done. But even now, on, on that thing, the reason why Balo said I don't have further witness today mm. is because he realized that this was an embarrassment. Maybe mm. they're trying to cook something with the next witness tomorrow. And I believe you me tomorrow and that lady, the magistrate, she's not coming. They're gonna bring somebody else. Don't say that. No, that's not forward. the procedure. On Monday, the, the procedure is that they must come and put their version in, in, in the record. So there's no other witness that should come until they are done doing that. So what, I, I heard Emily, she didn't talk much about what happened. Uh, the, it's about five minutes when the accused were locked and the key didn't want to open. Mm. What was happening there? <laughs> they said the key couldn't open. The, cells. The, the, the Q, what is it? Q20? Q20. <laughs> was needed. I, I so. feel sorry for Tanzo. No, when, when that was happening, I was feeling sorry for Tanzo. But they might come and report that Tanzo is no longer is the alive. One? Because I, I, I was thinking something like that could happen because it could not make sense that the key is no longer opening. Mm. 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 Yeah, no. Because even the, even the first confession, it, it, yeah, it was a blunder. When we come to the second one, it is worse. I don't know where we're going, but I'm happy that the judge ruled that the confession spirit. Yeah. Because now South Africa is clear. We can all see yeah. that this is a shame. That was just this is a shame. And uh, I don't know whether Baloy and the whole of NPA, what are they going to do now when they look at these things happening like this? They still going to drag it. To, until when? Until maybe Mgomezu lose um, uh, the, the client uh, exhaust the funds, and then um, here comes the what do you call this legal, legal aid. Legal aid. But the thing, whether legal aid comes or not, from where we are now, the, 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 all the evidence that's been led from the beginning to now. Everyone comes and gives his own story. That doesn't link it to anything. Mm. So if you were to judge on this case, even if you were a rather biased as you are, what are you going to say at the end of the day? W- which story are you going to take from these 100 stories that came so far? And all the stories are different. Which one? Which one? And, and, and in the judgment, I believe you will have no choice but to explain why he arrived at the judgment. Mm. And what is he going to say there? Because he, he, today he, he tried to dodge that blood because he realized that there was nothing that you could say to elaborate in justifying his justice, his judgment. That's why he just gave the ruling without even explaining why he, he had to rule in that manner. Mm. Mm. So in the in the judgment, he would, have, he would be having no choice but to explain why. So yeah. amongst the stories that are there, which story are you going to choose? Hey, it's As a truth. difficult situation. Uh, they did put him in it. I saw him today. You know, the way he looked today, he was not writing today, he was looking down. Mm-hmm. He, he was, was embarrassed even he himself. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So I let me give other people a chance to talk. Thank you. No, thanks. Yeah. Let me just uh, put this on record, my lord. They are looking to use Kroenje's confession as the most accurate and it is scripted in a way to, to close loopholes. Which loopholes? One may ask. The long running out and not being stopped by Moses Bia, whom seemingly he was he was uh, in the yard as a lookout backup. Togozi Zitwala also running out and not seeing or being seen by Spia. Mm. Mapisa running inside the house after Ntanze ran out. Zandi not seeing Mapisa when she was uh, popularing. Mm. Uh, the position of the deceased during the set scaffold 
It's also important not, not to note that the post-mortem said Senzo showed no signs of struggle before his passing. Also, that based on the entry and the exit wound, he was shot from the top since the exit wound is below the entry. Mm. Mm, let's see. Hi, guys. You know, the way Lenda Bayes' statements is, ends where I do Enkulu, it was made up to be a, a very big hoo You know, I think Urata Naye had the hope Yoguti, he will get something from the statements. Kandakazu go to admit Amanyala. Hi, Amanyala, Pelala. Yo, hi. Hi, guys. I agree with the caller that says I was emotionally defeated yesterday. I was literally down. I was down, down, down. Nevertheless, um, every time I want to give up on following this case, I remember those guys who are in it. I think at this point they are stronger than us who are watching their torture. We are just sitting and watching how they are tortured. The torture never stopped at the dumping site or wherever they were taken. The torture has been on. It has been going on, continuing ever since they were arrested. Nevertheless, I think these attorneys, the defense attorneys, they must start to fire their legal secretaries or whatever. Because really, they are not doing them justice. They must do a better job to prepare these lawyers documents for court they must they must go back they must do research they must watch they must live in it like you guys are literally living in this case you are in it like heart and soul and it seems like they they are just not there maybe they have a lot of other work to do but really you too will do an amazing job if you do the preparation for these lawyers without those degrees i i'm not sure what you are qualified for but you are experts by rata's definition you are experts and beyond Thank you. Have a good night, guys. Thank you for the wonderful show. Yo, it guys, almost I, like you were there when I was actually saying And this Emily this complained this about it, yeah. On. I have a problem with... Zanzi, hello. Zanzi, hello. hello. Hey, how, how are you? I'm good, man. You're speaking to Bong, eh? Yes, Bong. Uh, Emily, today I need your biggest allergy, bro. Because I'm Allegedly. coming from another angle. Different, different angle. Completely different. Yeah. Allegedly, everything that the caller is about to say is alleged. Yeah. Yeah, I see. I have to shift from. I want to have to, to that nonsense that was happening to that court. I need to. We need to scrutinize some issue. I see a lot of people are not touching onto this. Mm. You remember. She could did an interview with other with one of those TV channels news. Mm. You remember what he said? He said Kelly called him. Mm. You remember who said he called after he received the call from Kelly to inform him about the death of Senzo Meiwa? Yes. One of the powerful chairmen in our football. I won't mention the name in respect of your channel. Mm. Check that chairman and check his proximity to this church. Mm. If indeed Chico is so close to that chairman, he, he, he claimed he called after he received the news from Senza. And this church was so involved in football during the, the heydays when the football in South Africa was still struggling. struggling. No sponsors, no nothing. They were helping each other, obviously. They still maintain that. And he was one of the shareholders to some of the biggest teams in this country. Mm -hmm. That's when I need this charge. I believe this charge is there is some conflict of interest. Mm. There are some powerful people who are involved in this case, and then this charge has some proximity to them. Just remember which chairman Chico called after he received the news. Yeah, and we, we, we get you there. Check the is of the relationship between that chairman and this charge. Mm. You understand? Yeah. I won't mention the names. I will. I respect the channel, guys. I appreciate what you are doing. Yeah. I always yeah. say, what you are doing, you are giving us options because our meeting here, here we are screwed now. <laughs> I still maintain my worth every day. Stay strong, guys. Podcast is the future for the black people in this country. Thank you. I'm happy that this judge embarrassed himself like this. I was so emotionally defeated yesterday, but. After today, even himself, he was defeated. Mm. That church is so energetic, but today, 
he was down, down, down. And Ngomezo mm. Luyar. And now I see some people are so uncomfortable with Ngomezo in that court. Yeah. Is, uh, they know him from, from somewhere. They know him from somewhere. If you remember that church when Gomezu came in, he always tried to. Gomezu, I sing a cancel. You know this. You know this. They know him from somewhere. That's why they are so com- uncomfortable with Gomezu being that God. That yeah. was the angle I was trying to tell you guys. Check the relationship between Shiko and that chairman and the possibilities of relationship between that chairman and this church. This church, we can't deny. We can't run away from the fact that this church was so involved in football. Of which we are not sure even if he sold his, his shares or not. Mm. Let's say that. No, we get you. South Africa has learned to use their critical thinking. Mm. They won't come and change names in spoil your channel and create some bad reputation for you guys. Mm. I tell you, South Africa must use critical thinking. Yeah. No. We get you. Man. Respect of the channel, that's my final Thank word. You. Thank you for all that alleged information. Thank you. Thank you. Whoa, is that the, uh, 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 what do you call the the feedback noise? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Uh, all it is alleged, we would like to say, allegations, public opinion, everything, and views that are expressed by our subscribers are uh, that of our subscribers but not for us um doesn't mean that we share the same sentiment not sometimes um we might also share the same sentiment hi guys you have to forgive me for being a troll but this case has obsessed me and um yeah so i i enjoy engaging with you about it um number one the defense was desperate to have these confessions um, admitted mm-hmm. um why hasn't Kelly been arrested yet if other accused or if accused persons can be arrested on the strength of other accused persons' confessions? Why isn't she? Um, and number two, where is the brave Twala in all of these um, stories? Exactly. Um, people remembered what they wore and what their friend wore, but not that there was a brave guy in the house who just pushed somebody with a gun out of the way and left. Um, number three, I feel that plotting a body diagram of the movements of these versions of stories um, would show just how unlikely they are these mm. scenarios in that physical context of the house, distance, time, where people were seated. All the versions of everyone so far, I think, would be useful to see what that looked like. Um, and number four, I've never heard of anybody being jubilant um, at giving a confession and having spent just one night in my life in a holding cell and having had to literally burn my clothes the next day. Um, again, totally improbable. Totally. <laughs> Yeah, guys, I'm fast forward your voice. I know it's forgive me, so that you know when people you can call. Can cover as many people. Yeah, when people call, you you your you, call, your, you, your, your voice gets, note gets yeah. cut. So I'm making sure that um, we have covered you. So again, public opinion, it's true that our view that. that we hold, and all is alleged. You just spent the nights in a cell and you are jubilant and very high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Some having spent the night nice. there, uh, from a, from a experience, it is. You are jubilant. It can be that you are jubilant. Experience. Yeah, right. Uh, oh, you, we 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 just explained the fast forward issue. Yes, uh, that's why the voices might be a bit distorted because we're trying to cover, to cover. everything that you're and, saying. And uh, yeah, guys, I mean, we are almost going to three hours now. No, no, no. Come no, on, guys. Let us be honest now. Yeah. Um, thank you for being with us, uh, Mrs. K, Ned, uh, Dimitri, Dimitri. I almost said Dimitri. Dimitri Spoz Zindela um, Chuku Anna uh, Dibuo um, Tuli Tools uh, Someone is still going to want to say something uh, Zanzi, hello Feedback hello? Hi, how are you? You are Right. Not bad. How are you doing? We're doing great, doing great. Good, 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 good. 
Ja, det är för då får vi komma inte. Ja, du så. Ja. Ja, jag kan. Ja, shoot. Okej, ja. I case ska sänka och lej. Hey, it's gone too far. And uh, I'll finally try to be in 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 case in the other in South Africa. South Africa is a big country. It's known all over the world. Yes, it doesn't mean, but hey, the internet is young yesterday. Who judge? Who judge? Who's on game and journey? In case in Abantu, Abantu or Kelly, especially as in Zim. Why are they not being asked? Why are they not going to court? What is the state doing? The state is now. It's, yes, the state is now becoming a, a defense to to his days mm. The state is becoming a, a lawyers to to am uh, um, a police I uh, uh, his thoughts. Mm. So that's not good at all. That's yeah. not good for South Africa. Mm. People, people must know how to vote. Yeah, those are the big cases that people should learn and know how to cast their votes. Mm. 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 Senzo, Senzo, is a, Senzo is, is, a, is a big guy, just like anybody else. But people now it's not about Senzo's family. It's about the whole world yeah. looking at south africa mm. the whole world needs justice mm. now yeah this is just an, an, a stupid example that south africa is playing mm. against senzo meiwa mm. we need that case solved the judge is just as useless as anything else mm. how can you just allow such such statements that comes from Kininda. That guy is is just a, a corrupt a corrupt police policeman. Allegedly. He, he needs to go to the to jail. And I'm sure he's not the only one. That case has got a big a big guy in it. Mm. I think BC is there too. I'm sure you know what uh, yes. what who, who yes. is this BC. Yes. BC is there. I'm sure BC is there mm. too. Mm. Mm. We hear you. That case is it's just as clumsy as anything else, man. Mm. We don't need that in South Africa. We don't need that at all. Mm. They should just put those guys in jail. Mm. Those guys are just innocent. The guys who are inside the house need to go to court. Mm. The first person to go to court, the first person, the first person was Kelly. Kelly was a, is an eyewitness. Mm. They saw mom, Kelly's mom saw everything. Mm. So why those guys, whoever went, uh, uh, this guy who ran away, who ran away, he didn't see that. He didn't see anything. Okay, fine. He ran away, which is a lie, anyways. Uh, the guys were inside the eyewitnesses. So why would you ask, uh, put the guy in question, the guy who ran away, and you leave the guy who saw everything happening in the house? That's crazy. This is stupid. Thank you so much, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. I like your I like your program. I like your program, guys. I I wish you guys a big 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 uh, uh, viewers. Yeah. Thank you. Large number of viewers, so that you guys promote your 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 program. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you. And thank you for not mentioning Bye-bye. names as well. Thank you very much. All is alleged. Everything is. Thank alleged. you, guys. Bye bye. Togo Masondo. Bye. Uh, Moodly. Bye. Wise Man Mabuza. Bye bye. Everyone else that I didn't mention, I saw Dan also here. Bye. Tuli Tools moderator now. Bye. <laughs> Ansi K. Moyo, moderator. Bye. Uh, Ansi K. Moyo. Tembelani. Bye. Tembelani. And I think I've said that's Chuku. We have a lot of... Anna Chuku, thank you. Thank you, Anna Chuku, and uh, good night. Spo. Zindel, I've said. Elizabeth. Bye. Um, Pilisiwe. Sizum Gaga. 
those are people that are normally here thank you guys for joining thank us it's a bye for me please night. like the video and uh, share the video lala. thank you simbinsho lala se phumola se zobana na manje yeah please like the video share the video bye